Girl, you were scandalous and I loved it. Yeah. Your show is the best, 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 best show on the air. The Wendy Williams Experience. Welcome to the Wendy Williams Experience radio program. Guess who's coming in today? Steve Madden, the shoes are. Exactly. It's, he's been making affordable, chic shoes for years. You know, there are some people who say the best shoes don't come from Europe. They come from Long Island City, where the Steve Madden factory is. Everybody wears Steve Madden shoes. Some people deny it for whatever reason, but Steve's coming in today during the hour of truth. Also, oh my gosh, okay. Pamela Anderson is coming for Jennifer Lopez. Amorosa Stallworth has got a new man in her life. Countess Vaughn is getting a divorce. Kim Whitley's got a new man in her life. We'll talk about Bobby Brown and Oprah and all the rest of these damn celebrities too. Keep it where you got it. It is what it is, people. Welcome to the Wendy Williams Experience. Ladies and gentlemen. It is with great honor and distinction that I introduce to you the queen of all media, Wendy Williams. Ow, oh, how you doing? How you doing? And here we are. Welcome to the show, everybody. I found the perfect holiday gift to give to the entire staff here. And we're going to do something together. It, you know, it just happened to have come through inner office mail today. I want to um, sign everybody on the Wendy Williams Experience show to Pilates class. And I'll go with you. Cool. cool. <laughs> yeah. I mean, don't you think that'd be great? Zoe? Goose? Come on. <laughs> no, we're going to go as... Listen, it's going to be... We have enough we people... Show? We have enough people to ask that we go as a show, no strangers in the studio. All right. So when we're in, We'll have our own class. Alisa, Nicole, Artie, Zoe, Goose, That's a good idea. Trev, you don't need to lose any weight, but would you like to go? I'll go. No, I'll give you something different. Okay, good. <laughs> I need to give you some weight gain from GNC. <laughs> Loose joints. Um, but look, it's a great holiday package. It, look, this has come through in our office mail. It says, as a corporate account, we're offering a discount membership. Three, they have three months, six months, and 12 months. So how about if we do it for three months together as a show? Fit the steam on the radio. It's a holiday, huh? Fit the steam on the radio. 
The f- the what? He said the fittest <laughs> team on radio. Oh, yeah. oh the fittest. <laughs> the fittest. So sophisticated. But I, I think that this is really good. All right, so I'm going to look into this. All right, so. What, what is Art doing? He's still um, <laughs> back there with his knee pads. <laughs> <laughs> um, how are you, everybody? Who knows how to fry a turkey? All right. Well, here's here's the thing. I'm pulling together Thanksgiving at our house. And the last wow. component, which I just found out about 20 minutes ago, is that he would like to have a fried turkey. Now, it is my mission as Brie Vanderkamp to make this another glorious Thanksgiving at our house. You know, for those of you who watch Desperate Housewives, you know how Brie Vanderkamp is. I totally have that streak in me. I'm just, you know, I want to make everybody happy. I want to make the food good. If I can't make it, I need to get it from someplace. I need to gather it. I need to make it good. I need to, everybody needs to be happy. Even if I'm exhausted. (laughs) But you know, with me, even on Thanksgiving, I'm fine with a handful of pretzels and a Diet Coke. You know, I just. So what I need is I need and shout out to everybody who's listening. But right now I'm talking to the New York tri-state, particularly North Jersey, because, you know, that's where we live. I need a reputable restaurant. And the restaurant owner to come to our house on Thanksgiving and fry the turkey outside with a long ass extension cord because I'll be damned if you burn my damn house down. So I said, well, we can get, you know, pre-made, you know, like they can, you know, fry it earlier that day and then we can pick it, you know, fry it at the restaurant and then we'll pick it up. He's like, no, we want it, you know, fried right there, you know, at the house. So... Is anybody available on Thanksgiving <laughs> to come to our house who has a, rest, a reputable, uh, you know, establishment who's been frying turkeys for years? And he said, we'll pay you extra for forsaking your family for the day to, to come and fry a turkey for ours. We're not asking for any favors. I mean, you know, that we're not going to pay for. But, but what we are asking is that you neglect your own family for a few you know this is the selfish part i just said i you know i said well people have families nobody's coming out on thanksgiving to come to our house to fry a turkey but based on the carrington wellington thing you understand where that doesn't necessarily connect fully with him that whole you know family thing you know <laughs> doesn't really register <laughs> anyway um if you'd be so kind, uh, for real, and and you know, we're gonna investigate you before we call you. Um, but eight six six get Wendy. If you've ever had a fried turkey at a fabulous restaurant, any of you all in the tri state area, uh, if you can just if you even fax their telephone number, I'll call them myself and find out whether they want to come over on Thanksgiving and <laughs> fry us a turkey out in the backyard with a long extension cord. I'll be watching with a pair of binoculars. I'm you're not doing that. Mm-mm. Near the house. You're going to have them searched? You know, you frisk him? Pat him down? No, we'll have a cop over. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, I I figured you knew that. Just some strange mother father rolling up. (laughs) No, no. And we only need one person. That's the person who's frying the turkey and Mm -hmm. perhaps an assistant. (laughs) Not, Not your whole family. Look, so there's a lot to discuss today. Um, I guess you all still want to talk about the vibe. Oh, here comes Art. Here comes Art. Short. 
Yo, hey, Funkmaster Flex, can you please rush over a new bomb? You don't sure. need it until 7 o'clock for your radio show. In your paperwork, somebody emailed you a picture of Trevor in the eighth grade. It's crazy. Oh, no. <laughs> Can you please call me from now on? I will. All right. Sorry. This is the first time this year I've been late. I know, Art, but you were late. And for all I know, you could have been dead. Art literally just got here, everybody. And I just feel like you take advantage. What are you talking about? I'm never late. But when you are late, it's important that you call somebody. No, no. Me. You're right. Talk to Zoe, though. Zoe is an intern! And when Zoe called you, you were on the train. Yeah, I was on the train. I'm sorry. If you get phone service on the train, how come you just didn't call me, Art? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want to bother you. But he's usually here every day, even before I get here. Shut up, uh, uh, Trevor. <laughs> Art, what do you think about the experienced Pilates class? There's an inner office mail going around regarding Pilates class, and I think that it would be very fun if, like, me, you, and Nicole, and Goose. Let's do it. And, and we do Pilates for three months. I'm going to sign Let's us all up. Let's do it. Let's but do it. I don't want strangers in the class. It'll just be the experienced crew. Not nobody can win and can be in the class. Mm. Just us. Okay, well, let's do it. Let's just do it. Let's just, let's I don't just, like to exercise in front of other people like that. Oh. I mean, you know what I'm saying. Okay, well, let's do it. On Madison Avenue oh. at a Pilates studio. Do you see? It's in her office mail. I'm down with that. For three months? Well, they have three, six, or 12, but I'm not going to pay for 12 because I'll probably be the first one to say I'm not doing it anymore. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. So, Amarosa has a new boyfriend. Countess Vaughn is getting a divorce, everybody. Yeah, well, you know it happens. She's getting a divorce. Here's what her quote is. It just wasn't right. Now, you know, she used to be on the Parkers and she's married. She's been married for three years to a Los Angeles electrician named Joseph James. And um, he's 34 and he's seven years older than her. They have two children together, sons. And um, Countess is currently shooting Celebrity Fit Club on VH1. Now, let me just share with you about Countess Vaughn. Uh-uh, because she went to Mexico to one of them chop you up and leave you bloody in the alley, doctors. <laughs> exactly. Discount plastic surgery. Go figure. She went to Mexico, and she got liposuction, she got breast implants, and she got butt injection. And she got the you're in the hood now, baby, <laughs> lip implants. So when you see her on Celebrity Fit Club, honey, you are going to see something really, really special. She's only but like three feet nine. I mean, you could really just take her and... <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Where's Bart? What do you call this project that we're doing? What do you call this that, that's going on in here now? Um, I don't think... When's this going to be up? All right, wait. I can't talk to you all right now, but we're about to go worldwide with the show. We got a whole bunch of cameras here in the studio, and something's about to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Probably going on right now. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be really crazy. Where's the makeup person? <laughs> <laughs> Keep it where you got it. It's windy, man. You never met me. You don't know me. You ain't been in my house. You don't live with me. You don't sleep with me. You don't do shit with me. But talk about me. Watch what you say. That's all, baby. Girl. That's all I'm asking you is watch what the f*** you say. The Wendy Williams Experience. Okay, I'm ready to tell you guys what we're doing in here. We are doing the Wendy Williams Experience video podcast. And now, you know, I don't know that much about electronics, so I didn't know what to tell you what it was. <laughs> but um, it is something. Does the average person know what I'm talking about? Do I have to explain? Yeah. Yep. Everybody's thing. Well, well, I didn't know. <laughs> so um, it's going to be available for you to watch. Today is the first taping. And uh, 
I think I've bugged my eyes out at least 25 times. Even my husband called, you know, from the car, and he was like, just make sure to watch your eyes because he's not here to be my eyes eye coach. Yeah, exactly, Zoe, exactly. And you'll be able to finally see exactly what goes on in here uh, from the office, which is a mess. <laughs> to the running around in the halls, art, the whole bit. Now you know, do people know how these podcasts work? Where it's only two minutes. Like, you ever watch the Tiki Bar on the video? Do people watch that? People watch that. Everybody watches that. Millions of, millions of people watch the Tiki Bar. Now millions of people watch the Wendy Williams Experience uh, video podcast on your iPod. On, <laughs> on an iTunes, and it's free. Free. Download. The hell made this deal? <laughs> the hell, how do we make money off this? We market? don't relate to that. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. <sighs> anyway, guess you gotta crawl before you walk. No, I'm just playing. Um, no, it is free, but um, the most important thing is is that you guys will be able to see. Um, <laughs> see me push my hair up and tease and pop it. Anyway, let's uh, look. Let's concentrate on the radio show because that's what they're filming. I mean, that's what we're doing. This hour, the uh, Wendy Williams experience is being brought to you by MasterCard. Let me talk to you about LA Weight Loss. 1-800-448-TRIM. It's 1-800-448-TRIM. About to sign the whole show up for the holidays. For the next three months, we're going to be going to Pilates classes. Boy, that's iTunable. <laughs> <laughs> because the second I start feeling sweat in my scalp... I'm out. I am out. It's just too much to deal with. Look, I got fat thoughts. You know, you lose weight as a big person, and the mentality never really changes. You still crave all the fat crap you used to eat. Can I just tell you something? Have you ever been to Baja Fresh? They've got the best tacos. You can eat at Baja Fresh when you're on L.A. Weight Loss. You can eat at Arby's. You can eat at Applebee's. Where else do you like to eat? You like the Sizzler? You can go there. Ruby Tuesdays. Red Lobster. <laughs> I share with you in jest. I share with you in love and in the name of the need to lose weight. You know, weight has forever been a struggle with me. And if you're a person like me where you need to lose 20, maybe you need to lose 50 or 100 pounds. You've exhausted all the possibilities that you can think of. You've taken pills. Your heart has raced with palpitations. You've been on weight loss programs. You eat so little, you always have hunger headaches. Deal with that no longer. L.A. Weight Loss is here. L.A. Weight Loss, 1-800-448-TRIM. 1-800-448-TRIM. Call them this week and ask them about that $5 joining membership. $5 for a week's worth of L.A. Weight Loss. You call them and ask. And if you're already on L.A. Weight Loss, make sure that you get this deal also because you're eligible for it as well. It took me about 10 weeks to lose 17 pounds on L.A. Weight Loss. And I got to tell you, I, I feel pretty much like a different person. I don't have all that fat underneath my bra strap and my legs don't rub together as hard at the top. And um, I will never have the perfect legs. They say the perfect legs, you have uh, three openings. You know, when you get out of the shower and you look at yourself in a full-length mirror, you're supposed to have three openings. You're supposed to have... Wait, hold on. You're supposed to... Hold on. You know the thing about the, the nylon... You know the lycra pants, girls? Every time you get up, you always got to pull them up like pantyhose. Always. But look, right? You're supposed to have three openings. Oh, you can see me doing this on the iTunes. Look. You're supposed to have... One down there at the bottom. You see, I have that one down there at the calf area. Then you're supposed to have one someplace in here. Well, go figure. Who the hell is that damn skinny? And then it's supposed to come together right here, and you're supposed to have a little opening right here. Look, I'll stick my pen through it. You can't, probably can't see it, but here's where the other opening is supposed to be. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Listen, you might never be perfect. But you can be a better you than you are right now. So call L.A. Weight Loss and get started as soon as possible. As soon as your damn family leaves town. This is going to be the last Thanksgiving holiday, Christmas holiday, where they look at you and say, when are you going to lose some weight? Goodness knows I know how that feels. Now they can't get enough of saying, Wendy, eat something. Wendy, oh, mommy, please. The Wendy. war in my head. <laughs> my mother. 1-800-448-TRIM. It's 1-800-448-TRIM. It's L.A. Weight Loss. Let's go to the telephone, Goose. Let's talk to people as I uh, let you guys know about the WBLS Ultimate Christmas Party with a Purpose. Hello. Hi, it's Wendy. Hello? Hello. Hi. 
Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, hi, it's Wendy. Hi, how you doing? You have a great show, and I just wanted to uh, let you know that I read in the paper a couple of months ago about a sister in Brooklyn who owns a restaurant that fries turkeys all different flavors. So maybe one of the listeners can call mm -hmm. you and tell you who this person is. Yeah, maybe we can get like a Cajun fried turkey. Is that what you mean? Uh, Something yes, like whatever flavor you want. I read about it in the paper a couple of months ago. She was uh, she had an article in the paper about it. I didn't copy the information down, but maybe one of the listeners yeah. uh, will know who it is and can call and let you know who it is. Or maybe she listens in her restaurant and knows I need a fried turkey on Thanksgiving. I hope so. But I just want to let you know that you are a wonderful human being. You're very oh. humble. Thank you. And we love you out here. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Take care. You too. Bye-bye. Hello. Hi. It's Wendy calling. I mean, speaking. Wendy, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? All right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who's this? Nah, my name is Jason. Hi, Jason. I'm calling from Jersey. Nice to have you here. I know it's not advice hour, but I just got a quick question for you. I can certainly help you, Jason, to the best of my ability. All right. Um, I'm married, and I have two and a half kids, which means I got another one on the way. Uh-oh. And is that your wife who's pregnant? Yes. Okay, yes. good. Good news. No kids outside the marriage. No oh. Okay. But uh -oh. I got this thing going on with this girl at work and she is fierce first of all let me tell you fierce in this. looks or fierce in the bed <laughs> I'm going to say best of both worlds wow does she do things for you that your wife doesn't do oh yeah oh yeah well, as a matter of fact she, she turned me on to a couple of things that had me thinking for a second that I might be how you doing Wow. Oh, she puts her your fingers in your behind? <laughs> That's the panic button. What does she do? One knuckle, two knuckle, or a full finger? Nah, 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 nah. It's, it's more of her um, kissing in you know, her mouth. Oh, she tosses your salad. <laughs> yeah, with a little, with a little uh, dressing on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but, but anyway, she, um, she's married, and now she's going through this whole thing where she thinks she all in love with me. And, you know, I'm trying to tell her, you know, it, it was just a fling. You need to leave her alone as a... Go. Yeah, no, 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 no. She obviously doesn't know the rules of jumping off. There's no room for love, no room for babies. Anybody who starts to fall in love, the other one has to be sane enough to leave it alone. You need to leave her alone, like, right now, before she starts doing things like... Because this is something I do. Keep your underwear and deliver them to your house on Thanksgiving <laughs> Day. <laughs> Think I wouldn't when I would? I mean, you know, back in the day, if I, you know... Oh, I know how to hatch a plan. Oh. Listen, wow. le leave her alone, like, right now. You need to stop this, like, right now. Yeah. Right now. Right now. I got you. I got you. Okay. I think I'm about to do that. Yeah. Yeah, Jason, this is dangerous, and I hope you learn your lesson. Yeah, I did. Thanks for not Yeah, take care. Bye-bye. All right, you too. Uh-huh. Ow. Hello? Hello. Hi, it's Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Hey, this what's is Esther. How are you? Hey, Esther, let me squeeze this in. Um, you know, we're having our WBLS Christmas party with a purpose. Uh-huh. On December 17th, it's going to be at the Marriott Marquis Ballroom. Okay. Uh, the Broadway Ballroom. It's 45th Street and Broadway, everybody. A full holiday buffet. It's going to be a fabulous party, and we're all going to be there. Okay. Live cool. entertainment. You can get your tickets now at Ticketmaster. 212-307-7171. The proceeds this year benefit the Anti-Domestic Violence Program. Day one and Safe Horizon. You know, BLS is steadily in the community, and we've steadily been supporting anti-domestic violence organization and giving out telephone numbers and doing a lot of vignettes here at the station. So um, you guys you. will all see you on December 17th at the Marriott Market. Okay, and I love your show, and thank you for giving out advice about breast cancer and thyroid, can, you know, thyroid um, problems. And hey, Esther. I love you. Thank you. What's going on over there at your uh, place? Oh. Oh, one second, sweetie. Good afternoon. Oh, she's at work. Hi. No, I work for an advertising agency. Oh, okay. And it's a big advertising agency. Oh, what is that? Blue Flame? Is that Puffy's agency? Advertising. We do uh, Maybelline commercials and oh. stuff like that. And I love you. You're so funny. Thank I listen you. to you every day. Thanks, Esther. And my daughter had breast cancer last year, but oh. she's over it now. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, and I'm glad to hear that. But yes, thank God, and good, and have a happy holiday to you and your family. Thank you, Esther. You too. And I'll keep on listening to you. Thank you, Esther. Bye, I'm glad we you. can keep you Bye. company there. Thanks. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye uh, and if you or someone you know is being abused, you know you're not alone, and there's emergency shelter and support and. 
Even if you just want to talk to somebody, why don't you call this telephone number, 1-800-621-HOPE. It's 1-800-621-HOPE. Is there something broken here in the studio? Jim no. keeps coming what, in and out. What is it not? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, no. Jim, is everything okay in here? I think so. <laughs> no, it's just the way. Trying to hook him up with a feed. Oh, okay. So, okay. Hey, everybody, don't forget, Workplace Woes is coming up. That's where, you know, you call from your job, and if you're messing around with a coworker, and, you know, maybe you want to end it like the man who I just spoke to, or, or you know, there's a coworker that you can't stand, or your boss, or something like that. You look, the workplace was, we all have them. It's so. Next break is your chance to air them out on the radio. So I appreciate that. All right, so it's the Wendy Williams Experience. Uh, so now, now on uh, video podcast... <laughs> How you doing? I just looked at the camera and gave you a, how you doing? All right. (laughs) (laughs) It's funny. Camera's here. All right, you guys, keep it where you got it. It's 107.5 WBLS. Broadcasting live, it's the queen of radio, Wendy. Wendy. Wendy Williams. Oh my gosh. I am luxuriating. In the best tuna fish sandwich, I can't take it. Mm. So, let's get back to Counters Vaughn. Were we finished with that? No. Oh, yeah, I was just telling you how crazy all the plastic surgery that she got done. And I have an inside source at Celebrity Fit Club on VH1, which is how, you know, I found out about all this. And you'll recall, several weeks ago, I told you about all of her surgery and stuff. Up until Countess Lawn, who's going to admit to us on TV about her surgery, she's going to admit it on on the TV. So maybe the divorce is because her husband was like, "Mm, you know, you are really going hard. Maybe he's one of those black men who believes, you know, Black women are natural. We're the salt of the earth. We don't need makeup. You know, we don't need, you know. Negro, please. Everybody needs a little something. All right, not everybody. Goodness knows Nia Long looks so fantastic on the Vibe Awards the other night. I'm telling you right now. Man, that is one of the most natural, best-looking versions of absolutely natural and what you can look like even after you have a baby and you reach a certain age and you don't want to weave and, you know, your hair's this long. It just, she looked so glowy and healthy and good on the Vibe Awards the other night that I'm um, just stunning, just stunning. She really did. So... Um, Countess is going to talk with us about that, I guess, on the Celebrity Fit Club and whatnot, blah, 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 so on and so forth. I met a woman last night at the Laugh Factory. Shout out to everybody who was at the Wendy Williams Comedy Experience last night at the Laugh Factory. A woman came over to me, and she is having her surgery by my surgeon in Philadelphia, Dr. Um, her, she went. She came, I think she said she's from New York. She might have been from Connecticut. Anyway, she went to Philly. She had her consultation. She's having tummy tuck, and she's having liposuction. And the fat that they suck out of her stomach, she's having it reinserted in her booty. So, I... Is everything okay, Zoe? <laughs> <laughs> she must have been here like... Yeah, you really come in uh, fast and authoritative. <laughs> oh, uh, thank you, Zoe. Okay. Okay, jive turkey. Okay, I don't want that right now, though, because this is workplace woes. So call now with your workplace woes. Um... Um, all right, that's what it's called. All right, tell whoever that is. Thank you. This is the name of the place they're, they're actually calling. The yeah, the actual the assistant manager. Oh, we're putting him on the phone. Line four, uh, Goose. Hey, Jive Turkey. Yeah. Hi. Hey, what's your name? Tasha. Tasha. Yeah. So Tasha, everybody talks about your tur- your fried turkeys. I heard. Yes. No, I'm not talking about it. I'm asking you. I'm um. The- yeah. Go ahead. Um, do you actually go to people's house and fry the turkey? No, we fry all the turkeys in our store. Oh, okay. Never mind. Thanks. You're welcome. Bye. Back there. 
I was saying he said he didn't want it. Uh, he doesn't want somebody frying it and then bringing it over or frying it, and then he wants somebody to fry it. And this year, more than ever, I Thanksgiving's gonna be nice. Fresh, right? Now. At the Wellington, Carrington. <laughs> yeah, you you are you know what's going on. House. Household. Household. I mean, you know, some people seek comfort in food. If he wants it made at the house, then doggone it. I'm going to Brie Vanderkamp my way to having some damn body frying some damn turkey with a long extension cord out in our backyard on Thanksgiving morning. Watching them with the binoculars because I'm not going near it. Poof. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Workplace woes time. 866-GET-WENDY. 866-GET-WENDY. We've all got coworkers who do things that get under our last nerve. Or we've all got coworkers. Well, not all of us, but many of us have coworkers, I guess, that, like, if you have a coworker that you wouldn't mind sleeping with, make the invitation happen right here on the radio. Why not? All right, so line one, Sharon's there, and her coworkers are getting on her nerve, and she wants to get her fired. This particular, Sharon? Hey, Wendy, how you doing? All right, tell me the deal, because I can hatch a plan right here on the radio. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Okay, listening. like, she's my uh, she's my office manager, and mm-hmm. she piles work on me, work upon top of on work, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I can't stand her, and she doesn't do anything. And so, so, so you, you, know, you want to get her fired? I want to get her fired, because I think I can do her job better. And wow. so, so, so my question to you is, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Is she screwing around with anybody in the office? <laughs> Why'd she do that? That must have been a clue as to who she's working with. And for, ooh, that must have been the clue. Somebody named Wood or Chuck. <laughs> well, Dinar is on line number four. And something about some naked pictures got out at his job. Dinar? <laughs> Dinar? <laughs> Dinar. Yes. Hi, it's Wendy. What's up, Wendy? I've been loving you. Thank you, I Dinar. I know you've been loving you. Thank you, Dinar. You're welcome. All right, Dinar. The naked pictures are out, and the pictures are for you? Yes. Yes, I've been, little, I've been doing a little flirtatious type thing on my own. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and like I said, I only work for, like, white women. Oh, and they love that black... What? You know it. Big so. man, dingo, <laughs> shiny, black. Ooh. So they got out or you leaked them out yourself? I released them out. You know, like I said, my own personal gain because I've been attracted to, you know, I don't know if I, you know, the white woman, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm saying that. But, um, yeah. Do, and, um, are you married? I'm hoping one of them want to, you know, yeah. give me a call or something. All right. Well, do you um, want to shout out to your favorite one? Because do they listen at their desk? Um, actually, no. No. Oh, damn them. Yeah. Yeah, right. Well, but we- it's in Delaware, though. I'll tell you that much. Okay. Well, well. Yeah. One million dollar way. Could you say the name of the workplace? <laughs> it's a car dealer. I'm gonna leave it at that. Hey, Janor, can I ask you something? Yes. What do you do there that they still let you have your job even after oh. naked pictures? Are Are you a mechanic or are you a salesperson? Um, or not? Actually, I'm like the all around <laughs> guy here. All right, Janor. Well, yes. th- well, it sounds to me like you've already cast your rod, so to speak. Actually, yeah. Now you yeah. see how many of those fish you can bring in. Thanks for calling, Dinar. Hey, thank you for having me, Wendy. Uh, line number one, Angela. It is very important that we talk to her. She's in Boston. We're going to have to extend this. I saw that one-minute mark, but Angela is married and has been jumping off at work, and now he's falling in love with her. Angela, do I have it right? You have it right. He's the one who's getting soft and pink? I'm trying to tell you. There's no room for that, Angela. Love you, Wendy. Angela, <laughs> Angela, Angela, Angela. Is he married? He's married. I'm married. Crap. And he's willing to forsake everything? Angela, I'm like, I mean, Wendy, I'm like, you know what? No, I'm not crazy. My name's not Angela. Um, I'm like, you know what? It was supposed to be a thing, and um, what's wrong with you? And I do not know how to shake him off. I am trying to get this man to leave me alone. How big is the workplace? I mean, can you lose yourself in the numbers? I can lose myself in the numbers. Unfortunately, we are in the same area. Angela, a woman of 33 certainly knows how to play up the sophistication of, you know, look, it was a thing. And now I can be in the same room with you and nobody would ever be able to detect that we slept together. Exactly. So then you do it and let him look like the fool. 
a- Angela, this might be the type of person. Is he crazy, partially? I mean, will he blow up your spot? I don't think so because this is a very large company. Mm-hmm. And um, who's got the better job, you or him? With the company, he has a better job. Okay, he's not gonna he's not gonna go, but so far. And his wife works for the company. Oh crap, Angela, the Christmas party is coming up. You know what? Are you going to the office Christmas party? I am not going to that Christmas party. All right, but but Christmas parties are political things. If you don't go, is it going to affect how the bosses look at you? This is true. And then if you go, then, you know, the spouses go. So then his wife will be there. You'll be there with your husband. Angela, somebody has to be cooler than the other in this. So it's you. I wish you well. Thank you kindly. Damn. All right, Angela. All right, Take girl, care. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. Leave him alone, by the way. I, it, 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 will do. Thank you. Okay, good. Mm. And that's how workplace woes go. Every day at the same time. Keep it here, everybody. Advice hours next hour. Steve Madden, the, sh- the shoe czar, is coming in for the hour of truth. And we got more gossip on the way. Hey, honey. Hi. My boyfriend gave himself a wet or whatever. And he said he almost burnt his <laughs> off. The Wendy Williams Experience. 107.5 WBLS, New York. Let's take some calls from the request line. Call number one. Earlier today, she talked to radio host Wendy Williams. Dateline's Hoda Kotb talks with New York radio DJ Wendy Williams. Earlier this year on Wendy Williams' New York radio show. Wendy Williams is a national syndicated radio personality. Demi guest tonight. Why is Wendy Williams fast becoming the queen of all media? She's made her mark making celebrities extremely uncomfortable on her popular New York radio show. She's got a TV show on VH1. Please welcome troublemaker Wendy Williams. Oh, my Lord. Have I really heard this? That was the most erratic, weird interview I'd ever heard. I- ever heard. The Wendy Williams Experience. What's up, everybody? Wendy Williams and Mary J. Blige. What more can I say? Everybody needs some. Should I leave? Like, is that selfish to my son? Come get some. Let me tell you, Wendy. It's really a trouble with a dude. Advice out. Advice I'm having a problem with my fiancé and his family. I was in a relationship with this girl for like 18 months. She told me the relationship meant nothing. Oh, oh. Always drama. Call Wendy right now. 1-866-GET-WENDY. Fax Wendy at 866-WENDY-FAX. Wendy, can you give me advice on plastic surgery? <laughs> <laughs> I was um <laughs> I was showing you guys a trick that you'll be able to see um once this particular episode of the Wendy Williams Experience video podcast is ready on iTunes. It'll be in about ten days. Um because I know how to move my boobs. And um I can move them about what is that, like three inches I move them. Wow. What is this? This is like a three wow. inch move, right? Wow. Wow. Right? <laughs> Alright, look what I just showed everybody. Look. Wait, what? Uh-uh. No, 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 no. You're looking at the wrong thing. Look, look, look. Every, look at everything. Wow. <laughs> Download that. Okay, so look. Oh, my glasses are back. Yes, yeah, they were in the office. Okay. Okay, so every day during advice hour. I like to address faxes, and I like to address phone calls. I often bring things to the table, and um, I like to start off with Wendy's Medical Minute. So for for today's Medical Minute, we're going to talk about germs again. You know I'm a germaphobe. Uh, Aren't we all in our own little ways? The The telephone receiver. Now, we know this is like the grossest place. Significant number of illnesses and bacteria and viruses are found on the telephone receiver, which is why these germs spread very easily to your lower lip. And then once you lick your lower lip, they're inside your mouth. What I advise you to do is always make sure that when you use a telephone receiver after other people, you disinfect it, you wipe it off, you know, you, you know, do, do something because really it's just, it's just not cute. And then for those of you who rest the telephone receiver on your chin, that's why you get those pimples down there. Somebody with bad breath <laughs> and gingivitis was using the phone before you. You. 
Now <laughs> look at Goose is getting obsessed. He's wiping his mouth off. Use the phone over. <laughs> you're always on the phone. Yeah. Goose, Ew. Goose, you're rubbing the black off your face. You're rubbing so hard. <laughs> Don't rub that hard. Also, let's talk about that garbage can that you have inside your house. The one in the kitchen or in the bathroom. Now, you know that there's a plethora of germs. Empty them. Um, according to um, what I have, I have a few health tips for friendly living. I got it actually from Reader's Digest. And they suggest that you um, empty those on a regular basis. And then regularly scrub them and, and disinfect them. Let's talk about the shower curtain, because there's many people who have shower curtains. Are you have a shower curtain at your house, or do you have the glass door that slides? No shower curtains. You have shower curtains. Yeah. But it's only you there. I mean, for the... Well... Yeah, it's only me. For the most part. For the most part. Well, you know what? They get wet, and they stay wet most of the day. Do you know that when you come home from work, your shower curtain is probably still a little moist from your shower this morning? Well... The wetness for all day is what causes the mold and mildew. So, you know, you can wash your shower curtain in cold water in a washing machine or just get a new one or at the very least spray to disinfect it. Or turn that air conditioner thing on in your bathroom. Or or turn the, um, the fan. not the air conditioner, the fan. Yeah, the fan. Yeah, the fan in your bathroom is good for more than just sucking the weed out of the bathroom when your parents are there and you don't want them to smell it. It also helps to uh, dry your shower curtain. They say the fireplace is a, is a place where germs are bred. Well, listen, because they say a clogged chimney is not only unhealthy, it will kill you if it ignites or, in the case of a gas fireplace, becomes blocked and then they send dangerous carbon monoxide into your house and kill you and your whole family. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. I hate to seem so drastic, but, you know, when it comes to germs, you can't take it lightly. And lastly, the dishwasher. Take a close look, they say, at the edge of the door in your dishwasher. Many of these doors are breeding grounds for mold and mil mildew. The same is true of the rubber cushioning that surrounds your refrigerator door. So... The suggestion is to Lysol the area, let it air dry, or wipe it down with disinfectant. Do it. And these are just some tips for you, courtesy of me, inside of Wendy's Medical Minute, inside of Advice Hour. Thank you. Thank you. And now, we'll go to the telephones. Because D is on line 7, and her boyfriend's ex called him from jail. Yes. Okay. She's in jail? Yes. She got a DUI. Okay. And she was calling him and asked him to come and pick him up and take her home. And he did. And how long have you been with him? Five months. Okay. So you're his girlfriend, but barely. Yes. And, and this is not a good way to start off a relationship. That's what I said. And we don't live together. Thank and he God. told me about it. Well, so, he told you about it, so he was honest about it. Yeah, he was honest about it. He was like, I just want to let you know that she called me, she got a DUI and blah, blah, blah. So I didn't want her to get in trouble, so I just I came and picked her up and dropped her off. The, the scary part is is that of all the people in the world, she's got no mother, father, no brothers, no, no girlfriend. She had to call her ex-boyfriend. How long have they been broken up? They've been broken up for like six months. Okay, so he was... But they had been together for like a year or two. And, and he was a single man for only a month before he met you. Right. Okay, this is... This is all, do they have children together? No, no children, no nothing. I'm not comfortable with this. What's your question with me? <laughs> I'm not, I don't know. I'm, <laughs> my question is, should I be comfortable with it? No, this? no, you should not be comfortable. And I don't give a damn. Why'd, this, why'd she have to call him? That's what I... Said. What is she, that dysfunctional? And that now she's going to be calling him for every damn thing. Because, see, he bent on that. So what else is he going to bend on? God forbid she says she's an alcoholic and needs support going through treatment. Mm -hmm. And, see, you're only the girlfriend of five months, which, mm -hmm. you know, girlfriend, at least you have the title. But five months is no kind of time. Mm -hmm. I don't know. This might cause me to want to break up. All right. To be perfectly honest with you, mm -hmm. I don't want to be with you anymore. Now you, now, you call me and woo me back. Right. I don't want to be with you anymore. I'm not okay. comfortable with this, D. All right.
with that wear? Yeah. Right there. Uh, I'm not comfortable with this. Have you ever seen pictures of her? Yes, Th I have. Does she look better than you? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just asking, you know, men, as women, we do go there. Mm, well, I, I checked her out. No, she doesn't. Does she have a better career than you? No, no. I have a much better career. I've got benefits. I've got the whole nine. Good. Mm. All right. Well, thank you for your advice. I wish you well, D. Oh, thank my gosh. You. Okay. Bye. Okay. Um, I need to go to... Line number four. Jerome is on the phone and... Oh, no, I'm sorry. Joanna's on the phone and her, her boyfriend makes comments about her family. I don't like this either. Although, don't we all do that about each other's family? Yeah. How you doing, Wendy? Hi. First of all, I'd like to say I love your show. Thank you, Joanne. Um, yeah, and every time we get into an argument, it's always something. And it's smart things and it really hurts my feelings. I love them, but I'm like, okay, now what? Okay, how long have you been with him? Three years. Okay, that's a lot. Do you have kids together? No. Do you live together? Yes. Give me an example of what he says about your family that hurts your feelings, because you just might be too sensitive. Go ahead. It's crazy stuff, Wendy. Talking about, um, oh, the, the boys is too, um... Your brothers. Too sheltered and something like that. Your, your brothers are too sheltered. And stuff like that, and on and on and it's just to hurt my feelings but I'm not well, feeling it. Well, it might be also that he doesn't have a family so he's jealous because you do. Does he, he do and he okay, thinks that he I'm does. jealous because he feels as though that my parents turned their back on me because I moved and you know I got my you know, my life together or whatever and he's always up under his and now I'm just like doing my own thing <laughs> and that's always the argument. Don't let him break you. I mean, you, you've been with him for three years. This, does, this is not something to me that constitutes a breakup. Uh -huh. But I will just give you encouragement. Don't, don't let him break your spirit concerning yeah. your family. Yeah. And don't make him try to put a wedge between you and your family. Yeah. You know, uh, sometimes there are men who try to do that so that they can shelter you and have you all to themselves. And they do that through twisted mind games. And even the strongest women sometimes fold to things like that. Don't let him do it, Joanne. Thank you, Wendy. Thanks for calling. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Line number five. Georgia is in East Flatbush, Brooklyn. She's 30 years old, and she's separated from her husband. But she says things are getting bad. Uh, should she just go through and get the full-blown divorce? Georgia? Yes. Hi. Hi. How long have you been separated? Um, it's going on about it's seven months. And how long have you been married? It's going to be 11 years um, next week, and we've been together for 12 years. 12 years. So since you were, since you were eight, 18 years old. Yeah. We've known each other since I was 12. And so do you have any children? Four. Four children. Yeah. Um, Four children. Three of them is his, and the other one, you've been raising her since she was three months old. Okay, but, so none of them are yours? No, no, no. Th all of them are mine. Only oh. three of them are his, biologically, but the other one... He's been her father since she was three months old. Okay. Okay. Um, well. I just don't know what to do. I mean, things started changing when he decided that he wanted to get into this old sexual. Oh, deviancy. Openness thing. He wants to swing here and swing there. And, you know, he wants me to be a part of that life that he's into. But I'm not into that. And then. Have you, have you ever have you ever taken a walk on the wild side and then decided no this really isn't for me? Yes, well, I did it for him for his birthday. And you, you participated I not, in what a threesome or something? Yes. Yeah. Did you like it? No. I just had to ask <laughs> because it was his friend and she's still his friend. Yeah. And when I asked him to choose between him and her, me or her, mm. he he said to me that. His relationship with me is not guaranteed and his friendship with her is. Okay, so this marriage is over. This marriage is over because something like sexual devi deviancy, I mean, you can't deal with that. I mean, you even tried to see if maybe you liked it and, and you don't. Uh, this marriage is over. Um, the separation right now is a waste of time. You get yourself a divorce attorney and get this divorce done as soon as possible. But Just, he knows that I'm in school and he's like, you know, he wants me to quit school and get a job. Listen, and when the marriage is over. Whatever he wants is not happening. Put, put it's over. It is over just based on the sexual deviancy. V deviancy, but now you're telling me he wants you to quit school? Like he doesn't value you being in school? It is no. doubly... G uh, Georgia? No. It is time for a divorce. I know, but I want him to pay for it, and he doesn't want to pay for it. Because I can't afford to pay for it. School?
school? He's not trying to help me. He's Georgia, please. If you can't pay for your own school, why are you asking a man who's interested in boning five people at a time to pay for your school? He doesn't even understand the value of an education. I don't want him to pay for the school. I want him to pay for the divorce. Georgia, pay for your own divorce. And, and, and you'll get the money back, not in fi- financial terms, but in terms of sanity. There are some things that you can't put a price on, and your sanity is one of them. Prioritize, Georgia. Focus. I'm trying to do that, but I'm worried about my son. What's because wrong? Because now, now he's pulling the card that until they're proven to be his, he don't want to take care of them. Georgia? Get yourself a d- divorce attorney and deal with this in the family court and the divorce court. It, this marriage is over. And the more you talk, the more reasons I have to say it's over. I can't even believe you've been separated for seven months as opposed to it only takes you seven minutes to get a divorce attorney. This marriage didn't even require a separation. This is an automatic divorce. Bail. It's been like this for the last seven years. Georgia, yeah. then you've stayed in the marriage probably five years too long. I would say wow. seven, but sometimes, you know, there's a little bit of wiggle room for maybe improvement. Georgia, I wish you well. Thank you. Thanks for calling, Georgia. All righty, everybody. Um, coming up, I want to address a woman who had a foursome. Oh. She said <laughs> every hole in her body was filled at the same time. Oh. And uh, I'll call in the expert, Arthur, on this. Wendy, man. I've been talking to this young lady. She called me at home, and I was listening to your show. And she um, says that she doesn't know any straight guys that listen to the Wendy Williams show. No. Plenty of straight guys listen to the show. All right, so, yeah. Ow. So what should I tell her? Just it, Tell her how you do it. The Wendy Williams Experience. Maximum Strength Zantac works fast on heartburn. But is it fast enough for the world's fastest driver? Yee-haw! Let's Mac speed! Zantac is so fast you can take it before a meal to prevent heartburn. Or after to quickly relieve tough heartburn. Is that fast enough for the fastest talker? Sure is. Wouldn't use anything else. Thanks for asking. Gotta go. The leading prescription can take a day or more to fully work. So if you like speed... Woo-hoo! Try Maximum Strength Zantac 150. The speed you need against heartburn. Use as directed. Leading prescription, not for occasional hurt. I like to drive my car, and I like to take Sparky here with me. You've said it, but sometimes my dog smells like a dog. Right, Sparks? That's okay. I just don't want my car to smell like a dog, you know? That's why I like new Glade car scented oil. I just clip it to my air vent, and my car is filled with fresh Glade fragrances. So whether Sparky here has doggy breath or doggy odor, rolling down the window is purely optional. New car scented oil only from Glade. It's freshness... To go. S.C. Johnson, a family company. Hi, I'm Martha Stewart. I want to tell you about the power of following your big idea. Like the secretary who made Whiteout in her kitchen. Or the guy who created Apple Computer in a garage. Or me. I started my catering business in a basement. It grew into Martha Stewart Living Omnimedia. Now I've written a book to help you turn what you love into a thriving business. It's called The Martha Rules. Published by Rodeo. Available at themartharules.com or wherever books are sold. It's my big idea for your big success. Hillshire Farm reminds you to invite our little Smokies to your holiday shindig. Woohoo! Hey, Bob! So, So this is what this party is like. Yeah, it's it's your party. You throw it every year. Oh, this year's better. I finally got out of the kitchen. Thank you, little Smokies. All the work we do at Hillshire Farm means delicious little Smokies cocktail sausages are so quick and easy, you can enjoy your own party for a change. (laughs) Heat them up in barbecue sauce and you're entertaining. Hillshire Farm Little Smokies, America's favorite smoked sausage. Woo! It's the Wendy Williams Experience live from New York. Yeah, on 107.5 WBLS. Today's R&B and classic soul, and you know we're the home of the $107,000 cash guarantee. Don't forget, your next chance to win is later on today at 525. Um, Listen for Steve Harvey and the cue to call in and win. Um, I got something... um, to let you know about the bonus hour today and that is it's going to be a best of bonus hour because I have uh, I have to go to Macy's today um, with my friend Steve Madden um, I'm like introducing him to you all and he's going to we're going to be in juniors on the fourth floor in the junior department on the fourth floor of Macy's Herald Square from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. and Steve is going to be signing he's going to be autographing t-shirts and Steve is going to be chatting with you you know just you know get a feel for the man who makes such fabulously stylish reasonably priced shoes 
you know, I mean, and, and he will also be our guest in about a half hour, you know, in the four o'clock hour for the um, hour of truth. He's going to be our guest. Come in. Um, I can tell you that we all know that Steve did jail time, but he is not at liberty to talk about that. So the, his main reason for coming in is just to say he's here. There's a lot of exciting new stuff going on at Steve Madden. He's, he's going to give you the website, um, talk about, you know, how many celebrities actually wear his shoes because tons of them do. You know, not everybody is tricking up their money, Arthur, you know, at, at the Dolce & Gabbana. Yes. You know, not everybody has nothing but Jimmy Choo's in their closet. Sure. I mean, you know, maybe a pair here and a pair there. Yes. And then in between, let's face facts. If you spend all that money on shoes all the time, you go broke, you'll have nothing left for your kids. So Steve makes fashion affordable for the feet. And I, I love Steve Madden. I'm out of the closet with that. I, I love Steve Madden shoes. Uh, he does make size 11. Um, admittedly so, I have to have them sit on the shoe stretch at my shoemaker for about 48, 72, okay, three weeks. Damn. <laughs> three weeks. Because they're a little narrow. I'm going to try to uh, plead with him today and ask him if he, can, if he can start making them a little wider. You know what I mean? And, um, but yeah, so Steve Madden's coming in. So it's still advice hour. And I would love to, um, Kenya from, wait, Zoe just passed me, passed me the C? Kenya That's from New Haven. This is a question for Steve Madden. Yeah, I just said it. Kenya from New, New Haven, Connecticut wants to know when Steve Madden will make, si uh, make larger size shoes 11 plus. Well, he already makes 11s, Kenya. Um, maybe we do need to have him ask him if he can start making size 12s. Even if he doesn't sell them in his store, say he sells them just on his website. And, and say he makes, because he's, listen, you all, it's not like his shoes are made in Europe. His shoes are made right here in Long Island City. So he can literally make them right over there and throw them up on the website and he can satisfy everybody. Big feet need love too, right, Art? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was talking with you earlier. I was in my confessional with the with um the video podcast and i was talking about stuff and i and i mentioned you know you know where the hell is art because you were late today and stuff and i was like arthur you know he's he's uh and i was trying to explain you know what the hell makes you tick oh. and i was saying you were probably at your house getting furniture delivered or whatever or maybe he was late at a foot party or you know they're on fridays <laughs> For, okay <laughs> this hour the wendy williams experience is brought to you by steve madden limited I don't know why they call it limited. The man has no limit. He owns his own factory. It's right over there in Long Island City. Once you own your own factory and it's right there, there's no limit. You know what I mean? Oh, we have something for somebody to win right now. WVLS has your family four pack to check out the new Paramount Pictures movie, Yours, Mine, and Ours. Ah, oh, yes, an adaptation of Lucille McGillicuddy and F Fred McMurray, Yours, Mine, and Ours. Whose phone is on? Oh. Um, anyway, so caller number 11 wins right now. We're a little short staff today. Stephanie, can you negotiate getting the winner and... You know, watching the tape machine. Okay, good. Okay, here we go. Thanks, Steph. Did you just clap for Stephanie? No, no, that was for the, the winner. Oh, okay. I believe <laughs> Stephanie, yeah. We didn't get the winner yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, oh, and thank you very much. Phyllis Towler is listening in Long Branch, New Jersey. And she says, everybody, that uh, Pier One's catalog has a lot of black Santas. Also, she says, we can check this site, ourownimage.com, where they've got a plethora of, uh, of black figurines and whatnot as we decorate for the holidays. Because I, I got the perfect mix of, of makeup powder and shiny slack. I can make all the Santas, everything around our house, black. I can even make them in different. I can make a light skin da -da 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 Santa, and I can make a blue-black Santa, and everything in between. All you do, you know, you use press powder and then you ch 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 with the clear shellac to shellac it in. You use you moisten your brush first, you use the press powder, and then you go over your Santa's face. You know, his skin's a little blotchy, like you might have the junior signs of eczema, but the point is is that oh. you don't have a white Santa in your house with blue eyes. You could do the eyeballs too. This is how you do the eyeballs. You take um you take a um 
a liquid eyeliner wand. And you do the eyeballs, make his eyeballs brown. Yeah. So I, I'm not in need of black figurines this year because I tricked everything out uh, through the, throughout the years. I was complaining, though, because I could, didn't know where to find this stuff. I'm looking around. I, you know, I don't see you know, equal opportunity Santas. Everybody's white with blue eyes. <laughs> Ourownimage.com and also the Pier One uh, catalog. Thank you. Dear Wendy, I've been seeing this guy for almost two months. And we see each other around two or three times a week. And we have been intimate each time we see each other. Except for... When Mary's here, as, as in Bloody Mary, you know, all down there. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm 30 years old and I just got out of a long, tedious 10-year relationship and have been staying with my mother for the past few months. I'm planning on buying a home of my own. My new lover suggests that since he spends so much money on hotels, that we should get a getaway place together. You know, a studio apartment. Now, mind you, this man has been in her life for two months. I kind of brushed him off, Wendy, but now I'm actually considering it. He's really good company. He keeps me laughing, and the sex is phenomenal. We want, uh, excuse me, we even went away for a weekend, but here's the kicker. Are you ready for the kicker? Yeah, you already guessed it. He's married. He's married. I know I'm the jump off, and it is too early in the game for this, but what should I do? Leave him alone? Yes. <laughs> Leave him alone? You've been in a relationship for 10 years. First of all, the last thing you need is another relationship at this particular point. You need time to breathe and grow. You said you're 30 years old. You've been in a relationship since you were 20. You missed all the fun and swinging, ow, of the 20s. I say leave him alone and leave relationships alone for a moment and do you. There's a reason that you broke up. You didn't mention whether you have children or not, but hell, in 10 years, and here you are, 30 years old, back with your mother. But she's planning on buying a home, so that means that she's saving her money. You buy that home for yourself. Don't buy it uh, with him. And furthermore, ain't no good going to come to you until you stop messing with other women's men. So you ask me what you should do, Spinner? I say, um, leave him alone. Leave him alone. <sighs> All right, so look. We're going to continue on with the break. We had a good time last night at the um, Laugh Factory. Art had a mouthful of chief as he walked on stage. And, you know. You had fun? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I had a good time last night. I'm trying to think what all was going on in there. Oh, my gosh. Speaking of the Laugh Factory. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, you know, three weeks ago, Denise Williams, the legendary singer, showed up. And how often does Denise Williams' name really pop up in your mouth these days, right? No lie. In three weeks, this woman's name has popped up in my mind three different times. I'm going to tell you how. Number one, she showed up at the Laugh Factory. Number two, CeeLo was in here. Jazzy Faye. Excuse me, Jazzy Faye was in here and said that, no, he is not Denise Williams' son. That's one of those urban legends. And Jazzy Faye was just in here two days ago. Or three days ago. And then I'll be damned. That very same day that Jazzy Faye was here, you know, I wake up like 2 o'clock in the morning and go to the bathroom. Only this time I woke up like... 3.30 in the morning, I went to the bathroom, and I always like to see what's on the gangsta hour. Usually, I can find something like hell in Harlem, you know, to lull me back to sleep. You know, the gangsta hour on TV is crazy. A lot of good stuff comes on, you know. And when all else fails, I love those dating shows. Fifth Wheel, Eliminate. I love that crap. Yes, yes. I'll be damned. Denise Williams was on Eliminate Date. No, she wasn't. Yes, she was. And I couldn't even go back to sleep. I had to sit up. I propped my pillow up with everything, got me something to drink, and sat there and watched it. And by the way, Denise, the man that you picked, uh -oh. he seemed to have a little sugar in his tank. Oh. And, and I thought that you, being a diva who's been singing for so long and surrounded by so many queens, you would have been able to pick up on it. But apparently not. So I'm just here to tell you, girlfriend, okay? Ooh, there you go. Silly of her. She was on Eliminate, uh, though. It wasn't hundred dollars, so. She's not supposed to be on that, though. She's not. I mean, Denise Williams. She's not a current, you know, um, hit maker or anything like that. Um, but she's somebody who we know from the past. And I just think that that that's beneath her to go on dating shows. I don't care how lonely and cold the bed gets. Do you know what I'm saying? Am I 
it wrong for that? Yes. It makes it look a little hard up, man. It, Denise, exactly. It make you it made you look really hard up. Maybe that's what the situation is. No. Mm -mm, she's still cute. You'd be cute hard up. You know, I you, I um, wear all kinds of hair. You know, I got extremely long. I do wigs for extremely long. You know, like long, like I could tuck it into the top of my uh, pants long. And I do hair clips and, and all like that. I've gotten weaves before. And as a hair nista, uh -oh. it pains me to say this. Stop it easy. Take your time. Denise, were you wearing a plastic wig? Oh! It was really, really shiny. It was really, really shiny. <laughs> it was unnaturally shiny. It was like, like, like fake hair. To me, should have a bit of dullness to it. Like, you see how dull and brittle you could start a brush fire with my hair. I'm not saying that my hair is right and my hair is the model for all fake hair. But girl, it looked like you went into the twenty dollars Sharon's Beauty Supply in Lackawanna Plaza oh, and just picked up a two tone plastic wig. That wasn't even human hair, was it? It was too shiny. That's not right. But she's a legend, and she, and number one, she's on a limited. Oh my! God. And number two, she had the plastic hair, and I felt so bad. I feel I am. Am I going to hell, Artie? You make a silly came out a long time ago. You know, time was hard. <laughs> All right, Denise, I'm sorry for that one. I'm just saying, I don't think that eliminate. I think that you're above that. And, um, I mean, you know. Yeah. It's only wish you get a date. Uh-uh. No, she's cute. Keep it here, everybody. If Ice Hour continues, um, I'm going to give you the results of yesterday's people poll question on the wendywilliamsexperience.com. And Steve Madden's coming up at the top of the hour. I feel terrible. You should. Do we have any more than Hennessy left from yesterday? I find some. Or I run a store, store across the street and get you some. What do you want to drink? It's on me. Hennessy. There we go. Okay. Right. 107.5 WVLS. Wendy Williams, if you don't know me, I'm not your punching bag. You gon' blow me up. Girl, better leave me alone before I buy your radio station and send you home. Wendy Williams, experience, 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 experience. All right, everybody. The experience is on the radio. And I'm going to give you the results to yesterday's people poll question. The question was at thewendywilliamsexperience.com. Is your marriage on the rocks? 40% of you said no. 60% of you said yes. Oh. Art, is this accurate? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Well, happy holidays. Wow. Damn. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the new people poll question is, do you have children by three or more people? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well. That's men or women. Men or women. Yes. Do you have children by three or more people? And you can go to my website, thewendywilliamsexperience.com, and just simply answer yes or no. Okay, I love the people poll questions because it lets me know more about you guys. Oh, and listen, I brought this in for us also. Um, are you in an abusive relationship and maybe you don't know it? Because I am. Oh, my gosh. I didn't even know it. And the sad part is I'm not leaving. <laughs> I'm not leaving. No. I'm not calling Hope Line. I'm not leaving. Well, because listen to what... At the, at the National Domestic Violence uh, website, listen to what they say is abusive. And he's in an abusive relationship, too. Uh -oh. And he's not going nowhere. No. Number one, calling bad names and putting someone down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Number two, shouting and cursing. Oh. Yeah. yeah. See, you all are looking at me through the radio. You're abused, too. Yeah. Number three, hitting, slapping, or pushing. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> well, well, yeah, yeah, you can wow. put that way back there. 
<laughs> Number four, making threats of any kind. Oh, oh. Want a reg. Oh. I'm not cooking dinner. Oh. Oh. Now what you gonna do? <laughs> Uh, number five, jealousy and suspicion. Oh, <laughs> on both parts. Yes, All yes. day, every day. This is a, this is a constitutes abusive relationship according to the National Domestic uh, Hotline. Number six, keeping someone away from their family and friends. Does that happen with you? Doesn't happen. That's not going down at our house. And number seven, throwing things around the house. Oh, you better never. At your house. But it goes down. Yeah. She hasn't done a countdown yet, is she? Mm-hmm. Doing what? You're not done a countdown, are you? What countdown? Aren't? <laughs> Nobody's understanding what you're saying. What? You finished with all the things? What yes. Things? Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Why? Was no, there some sort no, of sound no, effect you were going to play no, at the end? No, because he played the music and I was wondering if he was done yet. No, was the- Goose and I, much like me and you, we don't have to speak. Oh. He gets my rhythm. Well, can you take that gum off the thing? Look at it. <laughs> that looks very Negroidian. No, because it's still a sugar in it. I want to put it back in my mouth. I oh! Dis- <laughs> no, 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 no. I already disinfected the area. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, so I just want to keep it there because if I don't, then it'll end up under the console or wherever. You know my gum. You got one side the camera's facing down. It is what it is. Oh. Uh, hello, video podcast on iTunes. Orange tones. <laughs> With the, they have orange tones on my face? I love it, yes. Are they really close? Yeah. Yes. Do I have a double chin? No. Nope. <laughs> so, all right, let's get into this one, you all. This is this fax right here is right up the experience alley. Dear Wendy, please help me. <laughs> well, don't go on it. This is not the one I wanted to read. Oh, here it is. Okay. Dear Wendy, Wendy, I'm in a big dilemma and I need help. Two weeks ago, I had a foursome with three guys. Oh, my God. (laughs) Yes. I had Richard in every hole. Wendy, it felt good. Wendy, I want to do it again. But I know it's not right. Because Wendy... I'm engaged to be married in two weeks. Oh! What a whore. Oh. Ooh, what a wow. freaking slut. Oh my God. <laughs> Why you want to get all out I feel like calling her man right now. No. Oh, I wish I knew who her man was. Oh, man. Damn. She's getting married on December 3rd. Talking about fill every hole. She says, Wendy... And to make things worse... No, easy. <laughs> Take your time. I don't even want to get married anymore. I'm not feeling my fiancé anymore. And, Wendy, I want to get with one of the guys from the foursome. Wow. She really wow. does think that after some nasty mess like that, that some man actually wants her for something more. She really thinks that that, that some man wants to wife her. Hmm. Especially one of them three. Well, that's what I'm talking about. See, because there's a way to get... Ladies... Look, there's a way to do all your dirt on one side of town and still end up with the ring and the kids and the car and the career on the other side of town. Don't nobody have to be none the wiser. But not a big dummy like this. You know what I'm saying? What the hell? Listen, let me let me read the rest of it. No, Goose, not one minute. Don't put that sign oh, down. Oh, oh, no. Wendy, how do I confront my fiancé and tell him that I don't want to be with him anymore? Wendy, I'm so depressed. I feel like... Help. Help. She Three helps for three men and three Richards. Yes. She said, help, help, help. Yes. Sign, the girl who had a foursome in Brooklyn. You think she's black or white? doesn't even matter to me. I just ask. Um, okay. First of all, how do you confront your fiancé? All you got to do is tell a man you had a foursome two weeks ago and, you know, pretty much he's out. 
um, you might want to learn, perfect your bobbin and weaving, though. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because um, yes, it's going down. <laughs> it is going to be going down. You might want to tell them that on the telephone. At this point, there's no point in even getting together and hugging. This doesn't even have to be a soft pink breakup because two weeks ago you were hard and black, you know, with your cheatery. You call him up on the telephone and tell him that you don't want to be married. He's going to ask you why. And the easiest way to get him out of your life, the easiest way to get him out of your life is to tell him exactly what you did. <laughs> That's number one. So you've taken care of the fiance. Number two, you dirty whore. Oh. If you possibly think that one of these three guys wants you for anything more than a quick fix. Here's the thing. When you're in the bed with three men, are they all touching all over you and stuff? Is, are condoms being used or, you know, like... Is it possible to th fill three holes at one time? I'm getting <laughs> distracted. Wait, one, two... Of course it is. One, two... <laughs> Yeah. There, you go. there you go. How do you do that? One. Oh. Yes. Third yeah. input, you lay on top of it. There you go. And, and so he's laying down. Yes. Then the main input, you got somebody on top of you. So it's like a sandwich and you're the turkey in the middle. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so you're you're on top of that one, and one is in you, and then one is standing over you, and then oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Wow. Mm -hmm. Imagine what it smelled like in the room. <laughs> Damn. Um, nobody wants you um, that, that knows about this. I'm not saying nobody wants you in general. I don't want to, um, you know, wait, please, Goose, please don't cut me off. Okay. Just give me 30 more seconds. None of the men from the foursome want you. Now, there are five men in the room. Excuse me, six. Raise your hand if you want any part of this woman. Oh my gosh, oh. the cameraman from uh, from iTunes. <laughs> but you can't see his hand go up because he's the one holding the damn camera. Oh, and he's a white boy. Ah, go white boy. Ew. <laughs> he pumped his fist. But look, nope, nobody wants you. Um from from this foursome. What I would do is start over. Break up with the fiance. Leave the foursome alone and just start over. Start over. Because part of your depression is that you cheated, that you're not in love with your fiance, and that you got this breakup. But once you get all this behind you, you'll be on the road to, you know, this will be a great story that, that you can judge up in your mind and smile about um, when you're 80 years old after you've conquered the world, you know, and managed to settle down and stuff. I mean, um, but for right now, you're a filthy whore, yes. and you really got to focus and get your life together. You filthy, filthy, dirty girl. Slut. You nasty slut. Oh. <sighs> you care to get in on this? I mean, you said it all. You said it all. You can't think of anything else? Mm. I'm disgusted with her. Let's make her cry. Say more. Goose, go ahead. Oh, no, she's already going down. I'm the only one who could think with the caller. That whore's going into a lake of fire. She's going to burn forever. Oh, shut up. I was looking for something more gutter. Something more Germantown. This is the radio. Oh. Yeah, I'm not from Germantown. <laughs> but that's why you can't think of what's a caller. Punk <laughs> ass. <laughs> He's from Chestnut Hill. Anyway, um, yeah, you're just uh, just a mess. And I, you know what? I appreciate you for listening. I'm just being hard on you because... You know, you really have to wake up and focus on STDs, on pregnancy, on your reputation as a woman, on, you know, your fiance and your betrayal. And I know men do it to us all the time and they mix them no better. But for some reason, we all get more shocked when it's a woman. It's more it's a more lasting shock. And I can say that as a woman. I'm a woman and I can say that when when we as women do some of the things that men do, it's twice as bad because it's twice as shocking. People just can't quite, you know what I mean? And I know in this day and age, sisters be doing it for all sales. But for some reason, some things will never change. And being a filthy whore is, uh, is one of them. It, I mean, you know, Steve Madden's coming up next hour. Keep it here. Wendy, man. My ex-boyfriend, he wants to fight me. How old is everybody? I'm 43. Oh. She's 30.
It's about that time again. The Wendy Williams Experience is searching for new interns. Come join the Wendy Williams Experience. Fax a cover letter and resume to 866-WENDY-FAX. Broadcast, journalism, mass communication, radio, TV, and film, and music majors only. All applicants must be over 18 years of age. Currently enrolled as a sophomore, junior, or senior in a college or university. Internship hours are 11.30 a.m. to 7 p.m. Good luck and thanks for listening to the Wendy Williams Experience. Oh, yeah, and if you don't plan on grinding... You can put that where? Back there. 107.5 WBLS, New York. She's a mother. Hey, Mommy. Happy so good. Here. Uh-oh. Oh, don't drop it on the floor. Germs. She's crafty. I know how to paint. I can sew. I do a little cooking. She's a singer. Struggle. In and out. Ups and downs. Uh, put that like, where? Whoa, whoa. Back there. She drops it like it's hot. Brown juice in one hand and get right in the other. She has Tourette's moments. Although I do have to be honest with you, the last time that I went, um, Dame Dash! What did that have to do with anything? She spazzes out. No, you didn't tear up your 40-something-year-old body! No! She's gangster. Anybody who tries to get in the way is going to get rolled over. She's the queen of all media. Wendy Williams. Yo, did you catch this flashback? Artie, you tell Miss Wendy, you're not going to run me out of town. I'm staying right here in Philadelphia, and you need to respect that. It was an embarrassment to me. And just because you're a freak, you don't have to let the whole world know it. My church friends are even listening to it now. You need to get that crap together and do what you got to do. I can understand it's your job and all that, but you have to go into detail about all that freaky stuff. How you doing? End of message. Miss a day, miss a whole f-ing lot. Coming through your speakers, boy. It's windy, man. <laughs> hey, buddy. It's the Wendy Williams experience. Ah, the joint is jumping today. Yeah. Ow. Don't stop. And you don't stop. Mm. Don's and Divas Extravaganza is on fire. Mary J. Blige is hosting. New York City is the place to be. December 22nd. Steve Madden is in the building. Yes. Yes. Hey, give me a hug. Oh, it's lovely to have you here. Have a seat. Okay. Okay. Good to be here. Yeah. Now, first of all, shout out to New York City. Um, yeah, yeah. First and foremost, um, from 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock tonight at Macy's Herald Square. Junior department on the fourth floor. Steve is going to be signing signing T-shirts, right? And just greeting your public, right? And I'm going to be with you, yeah. And I'm going to be there, right? Six o'clock, six to eight, six to eight, two night, two night. Macy's Herald Square, fourth floor, fourth floor, Junior's department. Me and Wendy. I'm yes. the guy with the baseball hat. She's the gorgeous one with the long hair. Yeah, well, see, you are in incredibly good shape too. Well, thank you. Well, I've been away for a couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have much else to do. Um. I'm going to let you lead the conversation into how much you want to talk about that. Oh, you know, I, I don't have anything, uh, you know, I'm not embarrassed about anything. It was a horrible place to be. Okay, let me just re... I don't think that there's a person listening that doesn't know who you are. But in case they've been living under a rock, Steve Madden's shoes have been in women's wardrobe and men's. Right, men's too. For... A very long time. How Since 91. Old? That's how old the company yeah, is. Yeah. You have some of the most innovative ads even now. I love the cartoon face with the, right, the big face and right, the small body and the right. big foot and whatnot. Big heads. And uh, we have a new campaign now. And there's one going up in Soho on a big uh, a big billboard in Soho now. It's kind of cool. So And we still have the big heads. Yeah. Your shoes are, are um, you know, I like to call it affordable, fun fashion. Yeah. And they're made right there in Long Island City. Well, they're made all over the world. Oh, okay. We make a lot in Long Island City, but we make them everywhere. Oh, okay. Everywhere, yeah. Well, that's, you know, I mean, having your own factory, how important is that in, in the shoe? Do you have your own factories all over the world? Well, or? no, in, in Long Island City and in Florida. But okay. in, in Long Island City, we're able to, like... Get a vibe on something, bam! Make it quick, get uh-huh. it out to the market. Uh-huh. You know, so it's exciting. Most, most, most people. It takes uh, most companies. It takes a couple of months, three months, four months. We can do something within weeks, right? And have it in the market, and that's why our shoes look so exciting. Yeah. Hopefully, they stay that way. They, they're very ex- well since 1991. They've yeah. always been exciting. 91. I never, I never remember a lolly in the Steve Madden shoe world. Yeah, no, it's been you good. Know? It's been good. And I love that you make size 11s. Right. Well, we make 11s. We make 12s. What? 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 
<laughs> you know, you I wish I had know? headphones. I was looking forward to getting headphones. Oh, I always imagined when I was figure, on radio. Art, art produces the I show. I headphones, and but, art is a little out of sorts. Yeah, today. art, you didn't connect that dot. Yeah, we make big sizes, and right, uh, do it. and um, uh, we got a you know a lot of a lot of young pretty girls that you know that are tall that have uh, big feet. That's me. And I there's was, nothing wrong with that. Big I wear feet an eleven, sexy. twelve, and thirteen. Yeah, depending. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, big feet are sexy. And, uh, you know, we, we sell them on the website, on our internet site. Oh. And, uh, you know, and actually, I would say that uh, there is a trend right now. I don't know if there's something in the water or what, but the, the average size has gone up dramatically in the last five years what for it, some reason. It used to be like a seven. Okay. And now it's like a nine. Wow. So you have a lot of girls that are size 12 and 13 yeah. and 11. So. Yeah. So now you, you can get size 11s in the store. I know I've purchased size 11s in your store, but size 12s, you have to go on the website. Right. But we may have some size 12s also. I mean, but not a lot. It, but, uh, the website is probably a yeah. better place to, to go. Yeah. yeah, the website would be cool. And that's stevenmadden.com? Steve, Steve, Steve Madden. Madden. Steve Madden.com. Yeah. Yeah. Steven's what my mother calls yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah. Are you from Long Island? I am. I'm from Lawrence. Uh, it's a little town. It's next to Far Rockaway. And I grew up listening to BLS. The, thank you. Frankie that's, Crocker. Yeah, the, the legendary one. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So that was, this is kind of cool for me. Yeah. Um, it's probably not what you expected. Everywhere you look, there's construction and yeah, mayhem. Yeah, it's pretty cool, though. There's yeah. a great view. Yeah. I always thought you guys were in Harlem. Yeah, well, oh. black, I understand. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm a white boy. What yeah. can I tell you? But you know what? That, that is an easy assumption. Actually, I, th I believe the radio station started out in Harlem years and years ago, but that's too long ago. Right, right, What are you right. doing to Steve? Well, I don't know, but what I'm is going fun with on? these headphones. No, it's, a, it's cool. It's cool. I'm sorry. No, but the thing is that I'm not embarrassed about uh, that yes, I was in talk. prison. I know, I know that was very nice of you, and I know uh, it's funny because your book came out while I was in prison, and someone sent it to me, and all my homeboys were fighting over the book. Wow. It actually caused a fight there. Wow. Between a boy from Houston and another boy from New Orleans. Look got at, into it over the Wendy Williams Look book. at that art prison riot. Yeah. yeah. Yes. But uh, we worked it out. All Fortunately, right. let's back up and um, talk about because you you committed a white collar. Well, you went to prison for a white collar crime. I did, I did. Even though I'm not wearing a white collar today, I'm wearing a t-shirt. <laughs> but I was a uh, dumb. Uh, I, I did a stupid thing, and I'm, I I uh, made a mistake, and uh, I ended up in prison for a couple of years, mm -hmm. and it was an awful experience. And uh, the reason why I'm not embarrassed about talking about it, uh, and I made a mistake, and is that, you know, you can come back from that. Yeah. I know a lot of uh, your listeners, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of people... Have been in, in prison. <laughs> ...in the feds yeah, right now. Yeah, I mean, yeah. a, lot of, a, lot of, uh, a lot of young African-American males are in the feds, and I was with them and friends with them, and, and you know, I just want to say that it's a bad place to be, and that uh, you should, uh, if you're out there listening, and it's not worth the risk, I want to say to everybody, and, uh, you know, you can use those skills... Uh, those skills that you have maybe on the street, you can use them in legitimate business and you can make a lot of money. Yeah. And you don't have to break the law. Yeah. And because it's a it's a bad place and there's a lot of sadness there and you and um you know, you're away from your family and you're away from people that love you and we do the best we can now. Yeah. You know, we have hope. Yeah. But uh I just want people to strive to not go there. Did um now Apparently, because you've come come back, it doesn't seem like a beat was missed in terms of your business. The yeah. shoes were still hot while you were in there. Yeah, the you've, shoes were you've hot. Come I out. The shoes continue to be hot. The prices continue to be right, and um, and just stylish and fabulous. Who is your right hand person, or who do you entrust to not? Ooh, I have a. I have a. That's a, that's a great question. Well, I got I got to give a shout out to my man Rob. Okay. And uh, who did a great job while I was away. Yeah. And I have a, a bunch of people that really. Uh, they've been with you since '91. Oh 91? yeah, they've been with me. Most of my people have been with me forever. Wow. They know how I work. Yes. They did it on their own. They yeah. did a great job. And now, hopefully, I can. You know, the last seven months have been great. You've been you out know, for seven months. Yeah, I've been out for seven months. Yeah, I, I think I saw you um, in the showroom. You remember you were doing a big um, presentation to the retail, uh, almost right when you got out. Almost like was that was that it was during, like in the summer, wasn't I went, it? I came right out of prison, right out of the gates, back to making. And you, you damn sure right did. Out, right out. Well, I got a. You know, I was I was not that I did any work when I was there. I just worked on you know pull ups, push ups, and dips in the yeah. in, the, in the joint. But but. Uh, and, uh, and Did your body look like this before no, you went in? No, Are you no. serious? We got big. We got swole. Yeah, you in fact, did. I had a, had a young guy named Swole. Yeah, a young guy named Swole got me in shape down there. Yeah. And, um, but, uh, you yeah, know, I was just like, 
I didn't work when I was there, but I was influenced by all these these young men that I was with, and they they're great. Uh, you know, just a great influence on me. So I couldn't wait to get out and yeah. make shoes, you know. Now, is there anything that you're doing um, um, in terms of uh, whether it's contribution or maybe when Swole gets out, will he get a job? Oh, or? Big Swole is out. Oh, he oh, is? Oh, Big Swole's out. Has he been in touch with you? Uh, yeah, Big Swole's out. He's a weight trainer. He, he trains people. He's down in Fort Lauderdale. Okay. And I was down in the South, so I was with the, the Dirty South. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we were on that kind of time down there. It yeah. was pretty cool, but... Uh, you know, I was with a lot of guys down there, and a lot of guys got hurt by Katrina, too, that I was yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they, a lot of those guys have moved to Texas. Mm. It was kind of sad for me. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I was influenced by that whole thing, and uh, so as soon as I got out, I got to making shoes, men's yeah. shoes, women's shoes. How long has the men's line been around? Men's line has been about five years. Okay. Very okay. hot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and here's the thing. Um, you, in your boutiques, and you've got several boutiques every place. That's another thing. You're yeah. so convenient. You're yeah, located we got a, to we, everywhere. Yeah, we got a hundred stores. We got stores all over the United States. That's it. All over the it South. It seems like I, so I many know. more. Well, we're in a lot of the department stores, and and I, I'm glad you mentioned the men's because we're really doing a lot of things. We're making gators now. Wow. Yeah, we're doing I, gators. Everybody got to get online for not, the gators. Not faux gator, but real, no, gator. real gators for women too. No, not for women, just for men. <laughs> No, no, just remember, we're doing gators, yeah. Wow. Yeah, Steve Madden, gangster shoes. We're doing wow. gators, yeah. That's it. When are they going to be available, do you uh, think? They, they should be out March, our first ones. Are? Right. Yeah. So that's gonna it's gonna be cool. You ready, play a play? And also, did I mention I'm getting married? Also, oh, that's no. the other thing. Yeah, can congratulations! You that? Does she work with you? She does. Can you believe that someone would marry me? Wow, it must well, be my new that. body. Look at that! Uh, th that's a terrific body. Yeah. How long have you been dating? Well, you know what? We we, st we it's someone that I knew. Her name is Wendy, also, uh -huh. and it's someone that I knew, and uh, she worked with me, and then she came down to the prison to visit me, and we would, you know, it, we were very close, and all yeah. of a sudden one day we. Started started holding hands and then I started sneaking a kiss here and there and the next thing you knew you know that was it wow getting married yeah did you have a girlfriend cool. when you went in so you had somebody to break the news to you know <laughs> stuff happens hey, what are you gonna do <laughs> wow yeah but uh, yeah now that's been really good yeah, yeah. all right let's talk about expanding the line now yeah, okay. I, was, I was just in the boutique um, last night as a matter of fact and I noticed you know not just the fabulous shoes but you always have handbags handbags slippers Slippers. Belts. Yeah, we do a lot of other things. Are I mean, you ever going to do jeans, like all tight and sexy? You know, we're going to do, we're doing some leggings, you know, for, for next year. Okay. and And uh, which we like. But jeans is something we're going to do in a couple of years. We really, our belts and handbags are what's really exciting. Belts and yeah, handbags. Yeah, we, we really have a tremendous belt and handbag line coming out. And you're going to see those in our stores, and they're they're unbelievable. Accessories are what you do, and yeah. you do them well. Yeah, and you just want to and glasses, you know. I didn't know you made glasses. Yeah, yeah, glasses, absolutely. Wow. Yeah. So it's a terrific life um, after prison. You it know, it was a great life before prison, and you learned it, a lot. Well, you know, I I learned a lot, and you, and I learned to be humble because yeah. it all can be taken away. That's right. And uh, for all of us, and. Uh, but I'm grateful for a lot of little things now, and uh, you know I'm grateful for my friends that stuck by me, and I'm I'm in love, and uh, you know it's good. When are you getting married? I, I'm January. Is it going to be a big wedding? <laughs> like you know, is this like a huge wedding or is it a little? Except tiny? it's January of oh eight. Uh, uh, no, uh, I'm just uh, kidding. Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a coward. No, 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 I'm well, getting married January of oh five. Yeah, we're going to do good it. Good for you. We're doing it. It's good a big deal. Are we going to read about it in, in page six? I hope like, the so. Maybe I don't know. Maybe no one will cover it. Maybe I think it'll be in page. Yeah, six, no, I probably. think people will cover it. Yeah, yeah. the shoes are. Yeah, you're yeah. okay with me calling you? Oh, don't you? I love it. Yeah. They call me the cobbler, my friends. The cobbler. Yeah. That's a good one. All right, uh, everybody. This is Steve Madden. New York City, don't forget, tonight from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., me and Steve are going to be at Macy's Herald Square. Come meet this man. He's been putting it down for years. We love his stuff. Now meet the man behind the, the plan. Cool. Fourth floor, Macy's, the junior department. We'll see you there tonight. All right. Well, it's great to be here. Thank Madden you. Express. All right. All right. Thank you, okay. Steve. <laughs> We'll be back, everybody, with more gossip, 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 your telephone calls, and, um, you know, whatnot. The fax machine's open, too. 866-GET-WENDY. It's the Wendy Williams Experience. Gators. Wow. Gators. Yeah. Hey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Wendy, man. George Bush doesn't care about black people. And you know, George Bush doesn't care about Wendy Williams. The Wendy Williams Experience. Wow. wow. Are you... 
107.5 WBLS, where the listening is fun. I listen every day. And the winning is easy. Oh, my God. Oh, You're kidding. A thousand dollars. I'm not kidding. I don't play when it comes to the money. Oh, my God. Cash for the holidays. You have a thousand dollars today that you didn't have yesterday, so I'm happy for you, all right? Thank you. It's the $107,000 cash guarantee. Let everybody know your station, sweetie. Oh, WBLS. 107.5 WVLS. Today's RV Classic Soul, the Wendy Williams Experience. Vaughn comes up at 7 o'clock with a quiet storm. And before Vaughn, and before this show is over, oh, by the way, um, tonight we're having a, um, oh, I went, I went limp. Tonight we're having a, um, uh, what do you call that for the bonus hour? Um, best a best of bonus hour. Yeah, I'm going to run to Macy's um, on four. Uh, so we're going to do a best of bonus hour, and it's going to be including the interview that I did the other day with Genuine, which I thought, you know, you we, had a, we had a nice time. Um, in addition, Trev Hollywood is judging up some more funnies in there. Hollywood, what are you doing in here if you're supposed to be in there? Right now. No, listen, I'm, I'm counting up the spots so that I can incorporate how much time I need on the second. Oh! It's a very scientific. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Very nice, Hollywood. Loose joints in the building. <laughs> all right. So bring Steve Madden back in. First of all, Steve um, wants to talk with us really quickly about SM Express. He's going to explain what that is. Second of all, do you know that he wants to come back one day for advice hour? So we're going to hold him to it. To take and we take nothing but jail calls. And he and he gives advice. Steve, I think that's a terrific idea. Yeah, yeah. I, w I wanted to uh, let you know that if you wanted a, a pair of shoes in New York City, you, you, we got Madden Express. What is that? I mean, well, if you order, a, if you or, is this like an encore performance? I'm here. This is I know. Yeah, welcome back, Steve. Uh, Steve Madden's yes, back, everybody. Welcome back. All right. No, but the thing is that if you order a pair, you got to see my man John Brito. Now, if you order a pair of shoes, you get it within 24 hours. It'll be at your house. If you live in Manhattan, so like from Harlem to the Battery. Wait, wait. Do you have to? Do you, do you Just, go online? You or? Could, no, you call up. You say, "I saw the shoe." Bam! It's like you know, Chicken Delight or something. So if I said, "Okay, ring," I see the shoe on page eight of the Inquirer magazine. Paris Hilton has them on. It says that they're Steve Madden's. It That's says right. that they're Steve Madden shoes. You call up one of the stores and you say, "I live on uh, you know Lenox and whatever 143rd Street." Bam. It'll be within 24 hours. It'll be at your door. Just call a Steve Madden store. Yeah. Or go online. But the, that's, that, that's SM yeah. Express. SM Express. And it's been working great. Isn't that interesting? So, yeah, it's cool. It's cool. And so now regarding this advice hour, because now we're going to hold you to this. Uh -oh, I mean, I think I it'd be terrific. I mean, not right now. Because today, you know, I didn't could, realize that we, you wanted to take phone calls and stuff. Yeah, today. we could take phone Well, you know, we'll do it another day. I'm yeah. Wendy, with you, I'll come back anytime you want. Great. It's cool. See, today, I just wanted to lay the foundation. Okay. I wanted people to get to know who Steve Madden is and right. stuff. Now, when you come back the next time, whenever your schedule permits, and we're going to um, you know, make it happen, you come back during advice hour. And I think it's a terrific idea to take phone calls. Right. Right, a lot of advice on yeah. shoes and whatever. Okay. Yeah, and I have a friend with a store. I just want to let you know because I know a lot. Some of you girls may have bigger sizes. Yes. It's called Eleven Up. It's on Fifty Seventh Street. Eleven Up. Eleven, 11 Up. Up. 11 and he's up. got Eleven and Up. And uh, are the shoes sexy, Steve? Uh, you know, big girls, everything, everything. I know big girls want sexy shoes. I, you know, like the, I know not just those old flats that look like canoes. This I know is what, why, you mean. what I love about the Steve Madden size Elevens is that you understand that we like to have a heel. We like to have, you know. Okay, so next time I come back, we're going to do a whole thing. Advice, advice for everything. Advice to the love lord. Okay, and the shoe. Worn okay. and all of that, and uh, but now I got to get ready for that thing, and I got to you're yeah. coming to meet me. Yeah, showtime is at six o'clock. Yeah, so I got to like I got to go put on my uh, Macy's outfit. Okay, and get ready for you. Okay, good. All, all right. right, so I'll see you over there. Yeah, we'll see you over Thanks, there. Thanks, Steve. All right, bye bye. Bye bye. I think that's terrific. I mean, there's a plethora of questions I could still ask him, like you know the wedge shoe. You know, how long are we going to be you know dealing with that? You know, because that that to me is nothing but a cheat for girls who don't want to wear the pump. And then Nicole. You know, publicist, assistant, everything. She is my everything. Mm. Nicole um, says she can't walk in heels. So the wedge has, like, saved her life. Yes. But, like, with me, I I can walk in heels, and I think the wedge is, is a cop-out. Like, I, I don't like wedge heels. And I, and I have, I think, two pair. But I'm not a huge fan of the wedge. It's a cop-out. 
If you can't wear heels, then wear flats. Do you like the wedge, Elisa? No. Why? Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't think they're the most comfortable thing. I don't like that whole yeah. wedge. I just feel as though it's a cheat. Like either wear a heel or wear a flat. You know what I don't like too. They're off like this. Usually they add a little more to the sole. Yeah. Homily. You know what else I don't like? I don't like round toed shoes. And I have a few pair, and I agonize when I wear them. I'm like, why am I wearing them? Because I bought them. It's too late to return them, you know. You see when I gave Nicole the tutorial on how to wear heels. Yeah, they had a whole sleepover. Uh, we did it in the office. Oh, I was trying to be dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> so you were telling her about it, and then she still hasn't worn heels since then. She's going to wear heels for Dons and Divas, is she? I think so. She did wear heels. She wore it to your um, publicist party. Oh, so she did. That's right. Hmm. She said most of the time though. What? No, what? She sat down most of the time though. <laughs> Eddie Love's daughter was selling brownie, a uh, Girl Scout cookies. So, needless to <laughs> Oh. Anyway, so we have a lot of Girl Scout cookies up here. Here's a note. Steve's fiance wants to take a picture. Of you too. Okay. Can we take it at Macy's? I don't know. I think I guess you wanted to get some in here with you, you know. You know <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. I just don't want to stand up. I hate standing up in a picture with people taking pictures because I am always out of the frame. You know, I'm I am six feet three today, and anybody else is so much shorter. That you know, you understand. She looks tall though. And I love, and I love being tall. And so, I no longer make it a habit of slouching or leaning on a hip to appear shorter or something. So now when me and Steve take the picture, you know what it looks like in pictures when I take pictures with people? It looks like I'm going to crush them. <laughs> I'm like Lenny on a Mice and Men. It just looks like I'm going to hug you and squeeze you and... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I am me. I can make fun of that. It is what it is. When I take a picture with little Nicole, you know, Nicole is only like, you know, five feet one. Then I have on my heel, so I'm I'm five feet eleven flat feet. But who's ever flat feet? I'm six feet three. When I take a picture of her, <laughs> oh, 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 my God. oh Art, please. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm a big old bar. All right, look, let's talk about LA weight loss. <laughs> Yeah, there's a five dollar special going on at LA Weight Loss if you if you uh, join this week. Um, it only costs you five bucks for the week. I know the week's almost over. Work out the deal. If you're already on LA Weight Loss, um, it only costs you five dollars this week. It's it's a little five dollar party, and LA Weight Loss is already an economical weight loss program. I, for the life of me, can't understand how they could be so generous, especially this holiday season. But that's L.A. Weight Loss for you. Fabulous and generous. Already affordable and still giving deep discounts. And on L.A. Weight Loss, they give you a weight loss shrink. My girl's name was Diane. And I... Bring, Diane, I'm about to eat it. Oh. Diane, I'm about to eat it. <laughs> Talk me down. Say something, Diane. L.A. Weight Loss is wonderful. You will get a one-on-one -on -one weight loss counselor, too. 1-800-448-TRIM. Millions of people has, have lost millions of pounds. They are affordable. They are effective. The, it, the LA Weight Loss is safe. And, um, and I'm urging you to call. I lost 17 pounds on LA Weight Loss. I've kept it off for over 18 months. I feel wonderful. I feel great. 1-800-448-TRIM. 1-800-448-TRIM. And this hour of the Wendy Williams Experience is being brought to you by Lowe's Home Improvement. Improve your home with Lowe's Home Improvement. Um, also, a quick reminder, WBLS's Christmas Party with Purpose. Yep, the Christmas Party with a Purpose is going to happen one month from today, my friends. December 17th at the Broadway Ballroom at the Marriott Marquet, 45th Street and Broadway. If you um, are... In Connecticut, or if you were somewhere in Central Jersey, where I'm from, the Ocean Township, Asbury Park, Long Beach, come into the city. This is going to be a fabulous time. It's a grown and sexy party. 
the WBLS Christmas party with a purpose. You'll be able to meet Vaughn Harper. You've li- listened for years. Why not place a face with the voice? Steve Harvey will be there. I'll be there. Annie Tripp, who's been doing news all around town forever here in this city. Come and meet these people. Meet us. And we want to meet you, too. We're all going to be there. And we're going to dress up, and we're going to be there. Men, a suit is fine. An open collar shirt and slacks are fine. Ladies, we never have a problem with you. It's usually the men. Although this is a WBLS crowd. This is grown and sexy. We don't, really don't have too many problems with trying to explain, um, you know, how to dress to the WBLS crowd. So get your tickets tickets now. They're on sale at Ticketmaster. 212-307-7171. Full holiday buffet. Come hungry. Come thirsty. We got your drink. <laughs> and we have live entertainment. Jaheem and um, Donnell Jones. And from what I understand, um, another big surprise. And they tell us we can't talk about it, so we can't. But anyway, um, it's the WBLS Christmas Party with a Purpose. So let's make it a date, and I'll see you one month from today. Yes, December 17th at the Marriott Marquis. Okay, good. All right. Um, we're going to continue with the show. It is still the hour of truth, and we'll gossip, gossip, gossip after these messages. It's the Wendy Williams Experience on 107.5 hey. WVLS. It's Wendy, the greatest show on earth. Wendy Williams Experience. Yeah. No. This uh, Wendy Williams Experience video podcast on iTunes TV is going to be crazy. Expect your first episodes in about ten is episode in about ten days. The turnaround. Ironically speaking, um, the man who brought the idea to me is somebody I used to go to college with, and uh, not and not the same school. He went Bart Phillips. Do you know him? Bart went to Emerson and worked at their radio station, and I went to Northeastern. I worked at our radio station, and like we knew each other, but thank God, because it's such a small circle. Thank God we didn't know each other like that. You ever have that experience, like somebody who you've known from the past, and then they 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 pop up in your present life, and it's like, oh my gosh, there's only six degrees of betteration. Oh, and it, it's like my attorney in New Jersey, Ray Hamlin. Ray went to Long Branch High School. I went to Ocean Township High School. We are the same age. Ran, like, knew a lot of the same people. But thank God. You know, I mean, years later, this man keeps me out of jail and keeps, you know, keeps me going. There's only six degrees of betteration. And this man, I mean, but both men, Bart and Ray, they, they have to shake my husband's hands. I mean, and I can lie. I, I, I could put my game face on. Like, you know, we could have better rated and I could still walk into a business and be like, what? You know, you would never, you know, know it from me. But just the idea that, damn, six degrees of betteration. Yeah. Art, it's happened with you in, in the past. Well, I know we've shared, you've shared information with me regarding yeah, some man. of your conquests and how they've popped up in our present life. Yeah, it happens. It does. It does happen. Yeah, you got to be careful out there. Yes. Dear Mrs. Wellington Carrington. Oh, boy, it's Susie John. Hi, Susie John. Your list of abusive behavior was great. Oh, thank you, John. <laughs> That's what I called her, a filthy whore. <laughs> you should read it to us every day. I know a couple of Susie-type ladies who throw things occasionally to intimidate their husbands. Oh, abs- oh, abusive behavior. Oh, she's talking about, um, he's talking about, you know, do you get hit? Do you, do you throw things? Do you curse? Um, he's saying, I know a couple of Susie-type ladies who throw things occasionally to intimidate their husbands. One friend was so angry at her husband that she dropped a tray full of Blanc de China porcelain over $100,000. She dropped it at her husband's feet. Wow. Wow. And I decided that workplace woes is boring. Yeah, I don't think I like it either, Art. We're not going to do that anymore. Why not? I don't know. Yeah, because of they said? No. Mm-mm. I, it's, I don't know. I've been going through my mind with it. Like, do I love it or do I hate it? You had a chance. Yeah. Susie John, we're going to give that a chance. He says, can't you just go back to the usual talk, talk, talk? Hmm. Season's not over yet. The season. Goes yeah, on. let it marinate a, a bit, Susie John. Who's on the telephone? 
Hello? Hi, it's Wendy here. What's up, Wendy? Hi, how are you? How are you? Good. Um, I like Workplace Rose. Oh. So it was well, fun. I called yesterday and you gave me some um, good stuff. Well, thank you. Thank you very I think much. I need to continue it. Well, thank you. Yeah. Oh, oh, Wendy, I always wanted to say this every time I call, mm -hmm. but I always forget. A few weeks ago, you were talking about you don't think Mariah Carey can ever be a lesbian. Yeah, I, I never picture that. Absolutely. Oh, my God. Not. She's collaborated with Missy Elliott and Debrat way too many times. Listen, I, I still don't believe it. I believe that Mariah Carey enjoys having her black friends. Really? <laughs> you know, those are Mariah's black friends. Oh, sure. I mean, one of her CDs was called Rainbow, so you never know. Oh. No. Remember Rainbow? You know what? That's because Ra uh, Mariah has a lot of gay friends, of uh, um, fans. And, and, yeah, I'm um, one of them. Exactly. So, yeah, yeah no, could you, come on. Can you I picture know. our Mimi in bed with another woman? I mean, she seems like she's, like, insecure enough where they're working late in, like, the studio. And mm -mm. then she's like, you mm -mm. know, I can take care of mm -mm. you. Mm -mm. Like, That's where she takes a fistful of pills. I can picture our Mimi going through depression and popping pills before I can picture her le luxuriating between the legs of a woman. Yeah. By the way, I thought she didn't look so good on the Vibe Awards. What did you think? Um, she's kind of, I don't know, like, what's with her fatness? Like? Yeah. yeah, listen, she had on more girdle than your grandmother. There was so much going on underneath that dress that I was embarrassed for her. And, she, like, her makeup, like, you can just tell she wears a lot of it, like, mm. just too much, like. I don't know. But in her video, she always looks so damn skinny. How do they do that? Stretch the screen. Is like they really did for Paula Abdul. Mm -hmm. huh? Stretch the screen. They did it back in the day for Paula Abdul. Um, Dixie Carter for Designing Women and a lot of other people on TV, past and present. They put that um, the soft lens on it uh, so that you, you look softer. See, for the Vibe Awards, they couldn't just cater to Mimi. They had to do, you know, universal appeal for everybody. So, therefore, she couldn't get any of that special treatment, which is why she looked so regular and, and um, fatty. She just, I don't know, I, I'm a huge, I idolize two women that are famous, and that's you and her. I love her no matter how fat she gets. <sighs> you know? I don't know. Thank you. But, um, hello? Thank you. Oh, <laughs> you're welcome. Bye, Wendy. Have a good day. Thank you, bye. What bye. a nice thing to say. I just want to leave it right at that. Let's talk about Pamela Anderson. What does this mean? We're going into a break? You have got to be kidding me. I can't take this show anymore. Either uh, we get to talk more here or I'm not coming back tomorrow. Oh. Now, now, somebody better make some fast phone calls to somebody. <laughs> Wendy, man. I have a girl, right, for 10 years. Like half of it. I've been in jail like five or years. I come home recently, right? Mm -hmm. And I come to find out now she's dealing with women. I don't have no problem with that. You know what I mean? As long as you could be in on it. Yeah, yeah. The Wendy Williams Experience. The queen of radio, Wendy. <laughs> Wendy Williams. I love when um, my interns come back and they visit and Terrence here and she was just telling me behind the scenes that um, she is, she got a, a, a fill-in disc jockey job out on Long Island at a Christian radio station. But uh, she's doing her thing. And one thing that, you know, I always tell anybody who's interested in going in radio is that you can't, you can't, just because you, you, you know, you love to hear Jay-Z and Jeezy and Beyonce, don't let that pigeonhole you in terms of where you jock because, or, or for that matter, where you intern. Many of you want to be interns uh, here uh, solely because, you know, you, you listen to the show, you enjoy the music, and that's all well and good, and I'm flattered. But if you can't get an internship here, you better check out these Christians stations and these rock stations and these top 40 stations and and if you're looking for a radio job huh, you better not limit yourself to just the music you like to snap your neck to so um amen taryn <laughs> you speak all somberly do you tuck your cleavage in when you're talking to the people yeah even though they can't see you, she doesn't go with the tight shirts <laughs> taryn's got two huge cannons 
She doesn't. She tucks them in and goes to work. Hey. It, Christian uh, radio. Uh, are you playing? Um, are you playing like the Clark sisters, or is it like white Christian radio? We're playing like all Christian music, like Christian contemporary gospel. Like the white Christian music, the gospel music, all that stuff. Okay, so you play black and white music. Mm-hmm. What's your DJ name? This is Taryn for now. There, there, there. Don't change it to anything crazy. No. You know, go with that. And people call up? You get calls? No, on every... it's really small. People haven't called up. Uh-huh. Hopefully they will. Do you ever say, how you doing? <laughs> on the Christian station? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I should, though. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. No, keep your job. Keep your job. <laughs> Shout out to Yvonne Graham who says, I'm a woman of a certain age, Wendy, and I love to see my adult daughters in Steve Madden shoes. Does he make shoes with shorter heels for women of fashion who can no longer wear high heel shoes? Yes, he does. He makes flats. Steve makes flats. He makes the little kitten heels, you know, that little one inch heel. He makes all kinds. Yvonne and the prices are right. So go in there and check it out. Listen to what Sheba says. Sheba says, Wendy. Pertaining to that slut who wrote you during advice hour, who's supposed to be married in two weeks and had a four-way with three guys. Yeah, it was her and three guys, everybody, if you're just turning on your radio. Sheba says, I've got her beat by an additional two guys. (laughs) 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 Wrong button. (laughs) She says, it was the greatest. It happened at a garage of my mechanic. Those grease monkeys were the best because they really knew how to lube and move. It's good to know that I'm not the only slut out here listening to your show. Oh, no, Sheba. <laughs> There's lots of sluts in the audience. And former ones, too. <clears throat> Dear Wendy, you may already know this, or maybe you haven't seen it. I'm sorry to be redundant if you know, but I was cracking up the other morning when I heard it. I was watching the news, and it was the New Jersey news, and they were talking about how today was the last day for New Jersey residents to vote on a slogan for New Jersey to boost its tourism. There were three slogans that the news channel highlighted that New Jersey residents could call or email and vote about. Don't ask me what the first two slogans were, but girl, the last slogan was New Jersey. How you doing? Shut up. Shut up. (laughs) Wendy, I kid you not. I was cracking up thinking to myself, Miss Wendy is famous. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, Goose, you don't have to try to press those buttons and do Art's job, too, because you're, you're all <laughs> off with the buttons. It's hard to read upside down. Yeah, I have no idea where Art is. Trev Hollywood isn't here. Yeah, he I, you know, Yeah, he just kind of disappeared. Amoroso's got a new man in her life. Now, as you know, we... Um, we, uh, we've we established that uh, she's divorcing. The divorce is now finalized with her husband, or her former husband now, Aaron Stallworth. But the sources say that Amarosa is now with a Ford model by the name of Datari Turner. I got to tell you, he's a really good looking man. And they say that Amarosa and Datari... Datari, by the way, created and co-executive produced that Ultimate Hustler show on BET. Wow, he's a model and he produced a show. Anyway, they showed up at BET's 25th anniversary arm in arm and they were inseparable during the ceremony. And here's what one of the sources who saw all this say. I've never seen her smile so hard. She was glowing like she'd actually won The Apprentice. Well, Datari, you might know his face because this is where I recognize him from. He was a former Tommy Hilfiger model, a former Sean John model, and a former Ralph Lauren model. Um, And he previously dated Fantasia. So that's that's who um, Amorosa is with right now. Um, And now at one point, Amorosa was romantically linked with... um, Dr. Frank Ryan, who's a Beverly Hills plastic surgeon. You've seen him before on the show Nip Tuck. And uh, he, they say, is the one who also gave the Nip Tuck Tuck to Janice Dickinson. Well, I know she's got a lot of different surgeries, Janice, but, you know, apparently one of them. So Amarosa, is, uh, she's moved on with her life. She's with her model friend and she's glowing. Okay. 
So I've got news from day one of the um, Irv Gotti Murder, Inc. trial going on uh, here in in New York. They say as, em- as Irv emerged, here's Art. Arthur, you're just in time for me to re-judge. Uh, I'm judging over what all happened. In- you went to McDonald's? No. Where did you get the French fries? Um, uh, Dominique gave me the rest of hers. Why is the carton all broken up? Like because my fingers is trying to get in there, and you're not, I, it's just too much to navigate. Sticking my fingers in there. That's what Art says on on Saturday nights at midnight and Sunday at the church. <laughs> <laughs> so it says, as well, then this just in. Oh. As Irv Gotti emerged from the courtroom after day one of testimony in the Murder, Inc. money laundering trial, he appeared humble as he told reporters that he was, get this, dropping the gangster moniker and would now be referred to by his given name, Irving Lorenzo. Whatever. They all get Christian after the crime has been committed, allegedly. Irv left the courtroom yesterday dressed sharply in a gray pin, excuse me, in a gray suit and a tie with a white shirt, seemingly buoyant. By the first day of the trial, which saw the courtroom packed with supporters and the prosecution star witness fumbling on the stand. Unable to discuss the specifics of the case, Irv spoke briefly about his humble upbringing and his family. He says, I'm just happy to see my mom and dad and all my family are here to support me. My, f- my father's my hero. My father goes to work every day. He raised eight kids. He watched his young son have success in the music business. I had no money. I came from nothing. I am very proud of who I am. Irv then made a surprise statement that he would no longer be using his Gotti moniker. This is what he goes on to say. It's funny. Everybody says Gotti, but I'm Lorenzo. Oh, shut up. (laughs) I think I'm ditching the Gotti. I'm Lorenzo from now on. I'm proud of Lorenzo. Lorenzo means the world to me. Yeah, all of a sudden. Ja Rule also took time to speak with reporters about the Murder, Inc. and Supreme Connection. He was, th- he was thronged by a crowd of people so large that the police squad cars approached the scene, crashed into a nearby fence, <laughs> eliciting chuckles from the rap star. <laughs> Officer Slap Happy. Barney Fife and them rode up in the squad call. We knew this man, Supreme, tried to give him a second chance, remarked Ja. Supreme didn't have any money when... We knew this man, Supreme, we tried to give him a second chance. Supreme didn't have any money when he came home from jail. He wanted to make movies. He wanted to get into the music business and do different things. Ja Rule then told supporters that Supreme, who would book rap talent for this for lavish parties in the 80s according to the ethan brown book queens reigns supreme uh was well known in the music industry and not just a friend of murder inc and ja Rule goes on to say everybody knows preem jay knows preem snoop knows preem leor knows preem he was trying to change his life and do good things okay and that's where we are with that wendy I would like to ask you some advice about my best friend. She wants to have a baby without all the trappings of a relationship and a baby's daddy drama. She wants to know, would she be wrong if she told a guy, I just want your sperm? Yeah. I mean, you're not going to think it's going to stop right there, do you? I mean, there are a lot of guys, I guess, you know, that frees them up of child support and everything like that. But if all she wants is the sperm, then why doesn't she go to a sperm bank? You know what I mean? Because if you think that you're going to get, and I used to think that it would be that easy too, you know, when I knew I wanted to be a mother, I figured, you know, I failed my husband, we'll just get divorced and I'll become a mother one day, you know, whether I'm a single parent or or whether I adopt or whatever, you know, I'm going to do it. Um, uh, No, she's not wrong for not wanting the trappings considering all the drama that men bring to situations sometimes. However, um, there is something to be said for when that father thing works, it works real well. You know, it works real well. But I think that it would be a better thing to go to a sperm bank as opposed to say to a man, I want your sperm. You know, it's not that easy for we regular people. I know people like Melissa Etheridge. You know, in other words, people with money are, you know what I'm saying? Yes, yes. People with money, it's very easy to go and say, I want your sperm. And, you know, they don't bother each other and they just go on about their business. Yes. But it doesn't really work that way in the real, in the real world. 
Pam Anderson is talking about uh, Puffy and Jennifer Lopez. I want to go to the telephones. Do we have time to go to the phones? Why do I feel so rushed? Cha-ching, cha-ching. Oh, that's right. Everybody's waiting to win money. By the way, the results of Wendy Williams' people poll question. Yesterday's question is, is your marriage on the rocks? 40% of you said no, but 60% of you said yes. Today's people poll question, thewendywilliamsexperience.com is the website. That's my website. You can go and you can... Is Dion standing over my shoulder? Yeah, he's right there. Who's he standing with? By himself. Just to say hi to him. He's just, he's just looking at the studio. Hi, Dion. <laughs> you know, he likes, he looks nice with the 5 o'clock shadow. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. Do you see, even though he's got on the full suit, Dion Levingston is um, the general manager here in New York at my flagship station, WBLS. He's a Q dog right there. Yeah, he's a Q also. Yeah. But look, he's got on a suit, but he's also got a 5 o'clock shadow. The ruggedness. Dion, I've got to say, it looks very nice. He's a gangster executive. I think it looks nice. It does look nice. I'm not arguing with you. Look, that room is so broken up that you can't hear the radio, right? No, he can hear you. No, he can't. No, he can't. Unless he steps into the No, he can hear through the hallway. Yes. No, the hallway radio is not that loud. He can hear. Oh, my, he's Dion. He's got superpowers. He's general, manager. <laughs> general manager ears. <laughs> oh, I've gotten a few. Um, oh, anyway, okay, let me just tell you this. Uh, so, Pam Anderson, this is what she says. She says, it's amazing to me that some designers still turn animals into fashion victims. They're so desperate for a fur comeback that they'll just throw pelts to any clueless celebrities like Diddy or Jennifer Lopez who will wear whatever for free. I've written them all to say that these animals are dying in agony, all for the tacky coats that make you look like a Bigfoot. Seriously, a fur coat just adds 20 years and 20 pounds to you. And if it rains, you smell like a wet dog. Pam, I love you. You're a friend in my hand, but shut the hell up. Go jiggle somewhere. Just shut up, shut up, shut up. Stop ruining everybody else's fun. It is fur season, and that's that. And some people wear, some people don't. But I'll tell you what, you better keep that red paint to yourself. It's windy, man. Me and my wife have been married for 15 years. They threatened to leave. What did you do? Had a problem with drugs. What you got the, the drug voice. Yeah. Hey, man. Just asking, what's your drug of choice? You name it. Coke? Uh, yeah. Weed? Yeah. Crack? Yeah. Heroin? Yeah. E-pills? Yeah. Whippets? Alcohol. Gorilla? Yeah. PCP? Yeah. The Wendy Williams Experience. Wow. Are you unsure about your Medicare prescription insurance? Well, your friendly and knowledgeable Walgreens pharmacy staff can answer your questions or ask for the Show Me Guide. It's full of great information and even has examples on how Medicare prescription insurance can help you save. These benefits will take effect January 2006, but you'll have to make some important decisions before then. So stop by Walgreens for information about the Medicare prescription insurance. Many choices. One solution. Walgreens. It's just about that time of year. Time for another pot day. A WBLS party with a purpose. Last year, Fantasia, John Legend, Keith Sweat, and Brian McKnight sold out weeks before the event, causing many to be left in the cold. Don't let that happen to you. This year will be even bigger and better. We'll begin with a full holiday buffet. Then Chuck <laughs> Chillout gets the party started. Started with your favorite WBLS personalities. Hey, I'm Steve Harvey. Okay, everybody. Hi, it's me, Wendy Williams. My name is Bob. This is Champagne. Good boy David Levy rocking you and popping you. And this is Mark Jordan. Then get ready when Jaheim hits the stage. It's gonna be a party, y'all. <laughs> and just at it, Vivian Green. <laughs> Along with Donnell Jones. Mark your calendar for Saturday night, December 17th. It all goes down to the Broadway Ballroom with the Marriott Marquee Midtown. Tickets available now at all Ticketmaster locations. Proceeds to benefit Safe Horizons and Day One. The WBLS Christmas Party with a Purpose 2005 is brought to you by our friends at the New York Department of Health, urging all New Yorkers to get their flu shots by logging on to nyc.gov.com to find convenient flu shot locations. It's a party with a purpose. With 107.5 WBLS. That is your man, Steve Harvey, in the mornings. If you call me right now, you can get your share of $107,000. We just giving you a thousand, though, but that's still a lot of money. We call the number 10 at 212-545-1075. $1,000 right here from 107.5 WBLS. Here we go. 
BLS, you're calling number one. WBLS, you're calling number two. WBLS, you're calling number three. WBLS, you're calling number four. Hey, BLS, you're calling number five. BLS, you're calling number six. You're calling number seven. And you're calling number eight. Happy holidays, you're calling number nine. Hi, WBLS, you're calling number ten. Hello? Oh, God, I hate that part. I try to set it up so nice. You Hi. Know, you know. Let's do it again. Hi, WBLS. You're calling number 10. No way. Yes way. <laughs> oh, my God. Congratulations. You picked up $1,000. Just for listening. Just for being you. What is your name? My name is Robert. Hi, Falcone. Robert. What, Robert Falcone? Yes. Where are you calling from, Rob? That page. Well, thank you so much for listening to our radio station. We're going to give you $1,000 out of our $107,000 cash guarantee. A little way of saying thank you for listening. So, Robert? Yes. Let everybody... Is there a way to turn the volume up? Uh, turn the volume up? What? On the... <laughs> no, no. On, on my phone. I was talking to my buddy. Oh, okay. Hello? All right. Um, so, Robert, tell everybody the only radio station giving away $107,000. WBLS. Yes. Hold on, Robert. We're going to take all your information behind the scenes. Okay. All right. Um, Stephanie, you can do that. Jim Wiener's coming back in the room. Is everything okay, Jim? Just fine. I see that there's a new, even older telephone coming in. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Look at this damn telephone art. <laughs> this is a wall hanger oh clunker. For, that is easily 1953. Oh, my gosh. you got to be kidding. That's something that you'd find in the home of Greenie Maxwell. What is going on? <laughs> oh, go to Jim. We really got to get with the times. Well, is there a budget problem? No, actually, <laughs> what it is is that the current wall phone, yes. which is, I guess, not that much newer than this one, yes. is uh, not functioning. The number three is not is not registering. So if you have to make a call and it contains number three, yes, like you, nine seven three, right? Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So uh, I have to order. A new one, presumably a more modern oh, one. Oh, please, Jim. But in the interim, I have this standby model. Uh, and now, so where did you get that from Frankie Crocker's old locker? <laughs> it's a prototype. Where did that come well, from exactly? <laughs> Actually, the Museum of Telephonics <laughs> yes. was having a sale, I and I couldn't resist. Yes. And, uh, and you were right, it is 1953, but actually, interestingly enough, it's 1953 B.C. that this phone actually <laughs> came out. So, But you did hit, it, hit the yes. year correctly. So yes, like, and so all those numbers will work correctly? I, I'm, uh, they should. I'm about to test them out now. Okay, well, carry on, <laughs> Thank Jim. You. Thank you. It's Jim Wiener from the WBLS Engineering Department. Just making sure everything works wrong as usual around here. I got to tell you something. You know why we don't have a good telephone? Because we're busy giving away the money. As opposed to spending it with a big budget, they give Jim two nickels to rub together. They say, go get a telephone. In the meantime, we're giving away $107,000 over the radio. Go figure. Somewhere it does make sense. At the end of the day, the money should be for you, the listener, and not for, you know, nice things like working microphones and telephones. That's it. That, that is it. Yeah, congratulations to the bosses. Always staying focused on the most important people and the bottom line, the listeners. So... Robert just won $1,000, and we just got a $1 telephone oh. to replace the 50-cent telephone. <laughs> the, the number three doesn't work anymore. <laughs> this hour of the Wendy Williams Experience is brought to you by Visa. It's everywhere you want to be. And don't forget to listen tomorrow morning at 7.15 for your next chance to pick up that $107,000 uh, in, in the cash guarantee. You know, we give away $1,000 at 7.15 in the morning with Steve. 12.15 with Mark Jordan and then again at 5.25 with me, Wendy Williams. And um, you guys, today's bonus hour is going to be a best of bonus hour because I got to go to Macy's. Um, I'm going to be doing an appearance with the shoes are the cobbler, uh, Steve Madden, uh, who if you just turn on your radio, you missed him. He was up here for the hour of truth and you know, he had a lot of great things to say. He actually wants to come back for advice hour. Another story, sorry you weren't here to hear him, but um, Anyway, Steve is going to be, and I'm going to be, I'm um, actually, I think that my assignment is just to kind of introduce Steve to, you know, everybody, his fans. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, you know, it's not like a formal introduction in a stage and stuff like that. You know, I'm, I'm just going to be there. Steve is going to be signing um, t-shirts and whatnot, and, uh, and I'll be there as well. As a matter of fact, Stephanie, I have pictures in my car, and... I just drew a mental blank. What's our mommy intern? What's her name? Oh, 
Dominique. Dominique. Dominique, I'm sorry. I just drew a mental blank. You know I'm busy. Dominique knows exactly where they are in my car. Would you ask Dominique to run to the car, but she's got to be back in like five minutes. Okay. And also, she, look, she can take these faxes and just like put them, put them in the back seat because I'll, I'll look at them later on today. Yeah. yeah. But bring that envelope with my pictures in, in and then I'll need a Sharpie and just in case somebody wants a, a picture of me. Of course. At, the, at the Macy's. You're here to lend sexiness to the party. Well, I don't know. Steve looked pretty damn sexy to me. Yeah. All bulked up. Yeah. You know. <laughs> anyway, um, that would be the phone ringing right now, uh, Jim. So the faster you plug it in, the faster you can answer the phone. That would be probably uh, Vinny Brown. Yeah. Vinny Brown calling from his office. Vinny, stop calling, please. You know, mm -hmm. Jim is re phone, Jim. replacing the phone. Oh, he Hello. wants to talk to Goose. Vinny. There's trouble. In studio. Goose, would you please stop having her? air or laundry on the air or something like that, which I don't think it's so bad. I, why does he always fight that? No, it is what it is. It is what it is, and we love it here. Come on. Yes. Every single person working at this radio station is a smart person with an opportunity to work any place they, they want to work. Yeah. And we want to work here, and, and they thankfully want us to work here. So obviously, you know, broken phones and weird mess, tiles <laughs> missing in the ceiling don't bother oh. us too much. We love working here, yes, yes, love for it. God's sakes. We love working here. Nobody said anything about our holiday Christmas party, though. I wonder if we're having a, um, I'm talking about the staff party. Oh, oh we are having one, Gwen? Yes, details to follow. With free booze and free food. Bring your own bag. Bring your bag. <laughs> Bring your own bag. <laughs> Bring your own bag. Wow. That would be typical. <laughs> but but we save that. No, I'm just playing. We save the money because we give it. I'm just playing. A lot of the things I say in just. Come on now. Let's go to the telephone. 866-GET-WENDY. Um, we're just going blindly. We're kind of short-staffed with the interns today. We only have four. <laughs> As opposed to the usual ten. <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Hi. Now, you know, Hi. we already gave away the money. You know that, right? Yes. Okay, great. So what what can I do for you? It's Wendy. Hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> oh, my God. It's the best thing in the world. Uh, Wendy, mm -hmm. I had just emailed you about the swinging and my girlfriend. And You're I don't know if we already gave it to you because Audie be hanging. Wait, wait. Are you the woman who was saying that you got done by six mechanics in the garage? Ha no, not me. Okay. Not right. me. Okay. okay. Okay, Wendy. This okay. is how it goes. Okay. I did the threesome. Best friend, man, everything. Okay. Man wants the best friend again. Girlfriend, best friend just wants me. How do I deal with that? How long have you and your man been together? Five. Five years. Are you heading towards marriage or do you care about marriage? Uh, we're heading towards marriage. All right. This is like a really bad connection, but you uh -huh. know what? I, I, it's a really bad connection. Do you have children together and stuff? No. Okay. Um, does your man know that your your best friend wants you? Yeah. And what does he say about that? He thinks it's cute. It's cute? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what do you think about your best friend having him by himself? I don't, I don't have a problem with it. I'm not insecure. Oh. Well, then, by all means, if it no, works. No, but the problem is, oh. is that he wants, he wants another threesome, but she doesn't want another threesome. She just wants me. Yeah. So how do I deal with that? Would he like? Would she like to sleep with him again by himself? No, she. No. Okay, so now we're we're lightly treading the water of possible cheating. You and your best friend, without his knowledge, is that is that? Bye, bye. But you know, he's pushing the issue. She's pushing the issue. I'm quite in the middle. I think that you should just write this whole thing off. It was cute when you all did it. But um, you need to leave this alone. All of you. You all. know what? I, I, I don't even know why I told you because I'm the same thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wendy, you the best. Thank you, and thank you for listening. All righty. Take care. Bye. All right, everybody. Don't forget the top of the hour is the bonus hour. It is a best of bonus hour. But one of the things that, um, that we will be playing is the interview that I had with Genuine about two days ago. So if you didn't hear it, you get to hear it during the bonus hour. And I'll be cutting out because at 6 o'clock I have to be at Macy's in Herald Square on the fourth floor in the juniors department. So if you're in New York City and you're in Herald Square for, to go to Macy's, I'll see you on the fourth floor in the juniors department. Me and Steve will be there together.
together from 6 p.m. tonight till 8 p.m. tonight. Two full hours of the Wendy and Steve show. Meet the shoes are. Ask him questions. Girls with the big feet, this is your time to ask him about making wider calves and wider widths. And if you love his shoes, this is your time to buddy right up and tell him. All right. So anyway, so I'll see you at 6 o'clock at Macy's on 4. In the meantime, we have one more break left in the show, so I'm here until then. It's 107.5 WBLS. Yo, what's up? Check it out. This is your man, Carl Payne. What's up? This is Jack A. Harry. Yo, what's up? This is Chad L. Coleman, a.k.a. Cuddy from The Wire, and you listening to the Wendy Williams Experience. Yeah, what a great day it was today, huh, everybody? Got our chance to get our talk about on. I miss talking about Bobby Brown and Oprah, though, and... um. Let me just quickly. Um, oh, you know what I want to tell you about Oprah? Um, she says that, and I think I told you this the other day. She says that the experience with Tom Cruise on the couch was even wild. Here's her uh, quote. It was wilder than it was appearing to me. In other words, her expressions and stuff. She says, I was just trying to maintain the truth for myself because I couldn't figure out what was going on. That's why I kept saying, you're gone. You're really gone. And that's why I wanted to tell you about Oprah. And regarding Bobby Brown, I wanted to tell you that our Bobby has just taped a guest spot on the UPN sitcom Cuts. He taped it last week, and Bobby's role is um, going to be a surprise to all of us. They won't let us know what it is. But it only took one day to shoot, and we know Cuts stars, um, friend to the show, Marcus Houston, Shannon Elizabeth, and... You know, a bunch of other people. But so congratulations to Bobby. You know, um, it's one episode. But you know what? It's still keeping you out here, the, out here, Bobby, until, you know, that next big thing comes along. Like season two of Be a Bobby Brown, yes. which we're all looking for. Um, I want to thank my special guest that came in today, Steve Madden, king of all shoes. Um, friend to all girls and, and guys. You know, he's been in business since 1991. The men's shoe line just started five years ago. And he told us today that um, he's going to introduce a line of gators, as in real alligator shoes for men, uh, next year, 2006. So he's doing big things. And I'm going over to uh, Macy's right now to do an appearance with him. Uh, Macy's uh, here in New York in Herald Square. So I'm getting ready to do that. Also, today was exciting because behind the scenes, what you didn't see is something that you're about to see. The Wendy Williams Experience video podcast. The turnaround time for today's show uh, will be about 10 days. It's going to go a lot faster once we get it going. But if you've ever wondered what's going on behind the scenes, um, you know, how, how, you know, I head knock, you know, I can make my, my boobs move. Um, I, uh, there, there was a woman who wrote in about oh, having all three oh. <laughs> inputs filled at one time. I couldn't figure out how she did it. And so oftentimes here in the studio, I behave as if we're on TV or being watched in terms of my facial expressions or my actions or whatever. So, uh, now you'll be able to see a bit of that, you know, um, it'll be like, 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 I, I don't know how long this, the premiere episode is going to be of the Wendy Williams Experience video podcast, but I can tell you that, that we're probably going to get them down to where they're like three minute clips and then, you know, you can go on and you can keep track and like that. So I'm very excited about that. You know what you can do? You can just say podcast. Podcast? Yeah. You don't need to say video. I like which it sounds very big. Video is, podcast? Yeah, I love that. Well, if I, mean, I just say podcast, redundant. do they think that I'm on there um, with the radio show talking? No, no, no. See, Pod I want them to know that they're actually be able to see. No, podcast is podcast. You know. Okay. All right. Any parting words from anybody on the phones? Let's just blindly go and see what people are saying. Hello. Hi, it's Wendy. Yes. Hi, Wendy. I'm the 10th caller. Oh, no, girl. You are so late on that. Take oh, I'm glad I still got to speak to you. Well, thank you so much for being here. Okay, thank you, Wendy. Oh, man. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Huh? Okay. Um, um, anybody else, Goose? Tell them. Hello. Um, no, that's. Mm -mm. Um, hi, hello, hi, it's Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Hi, how are you? How you doing? Good. Okay. So you going over to Macy's? Yeah, I'm going over to Macy's in Herald Square. Are you going to meet me there? No, I just came home from work. Oh, I please, I understand. Yeah. I understand. Okay, so I was just calling to say hello, and I did see Jimmy Kimball with the with Beyonce on. It was cute. Okay. 
Then you're the, look, you're like the only the second person that has gotten in contact with me who actually saw that. Yeah, I think he's funny. Yeah. Like, he got his own little humor. He's he, funny. He does. He does. He's grown into his own. Yeah, he had Bobby Brown and Mike Tyson on, on Halloween. It was so funny. Well, damn. Why didn't I watch that? Yeah, All right. Can, you gotta watch him sometimes. Yeah, every once in a while I do catch Kimmel. Yeah, he's one of those people, you know, every now and then you pop and watch him. Yeah. You know, not every night. Yeah. All right, so take care and have a nice night. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. We'll take another call. Hello. Hi, it's Wendy. You're on the radio. Hi, Wendy. It's a uh, long-time listener. How are you? Fine, thank you. Nice to have you here. Good, good. I just want to comment on your podcast. It's going to be great. I'm so looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. I mean, you know, we were in the office, so you get a chance to see that, you know, I wasn't lying to you. Our office looks like a bomb hit it, but it is pink, and the the view of Manhattan is spectacular, and you'll get to see Elisa and Nicole and Zoe, our bipolar intern, and Trev Hollywood, and Goose, and Artie, Artie yes, right. in full form. <laughs> and, and then, you know, you'll be able to uh, view on a regular basis and keep up with the show, visually speaking. Excellent. Wendy, but you know what? You have to get a format. For i, for the iTunes. I mean, there's a certain format. I'm sure already, already knows it. But you know, sometimes the videos don't transfer over because I'm a big iPod person. Oh. But just wanted to let you know. You know, and there is a difference too. There is the video iPod, like you were saying, and mm -hmm. also there's the regular iPod. I mean, sorry, the uh, podcast. Okay. That uh, that um goes on the iTunes. But mm -hmm. I'm definitely looking forward to it. All right. Well, thank you. I'm glad that we're doing it. All right. Love you, Wendy. Love you too. Take okay. care. Bye bye. bye. All right, hello. Hi, it's Wendy. Hi, Wendy. How are you? I'm doing fine. I have a question for you. Okay. I heard that Jay-Z had a baby by Frey. Do you know if this is true? No, stop the crickets. I don't even want to talk about it because oh. it's so back and forth. But um, the word is that Free is pregnant for real. Allegedly, okay. and I'll just say alleged, just to protect myself. Allegedly, that she's pregnant oh. for real. She's keeping it for real, and no doubt, after she has the baby, to help you know, soothe Beyonce, it will all be kept on the hush hush. But somebody somewhere will know once this baby comes to fruition. And no, she's not far along because yeah, we did see the pictures of her stomach flat, you know, last month. So somewhere around summertime, you know, uh, you know, and and I'm and I'm that's the story I'm going with, and that's that. All right. Thanks, Wendy. Thanks for calling. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, you guys. I love you for listening today. And um, by the way, for our New York listeners, today was the last day of the $107,000 cash guarantee. Goose just held up a sign and said, all the money is gone, but you keep listening because the winning continues here in New York on the flagship station, WBLS. Good night, Philadelphia. See you later, uh, uh, South Carolina. Hey, L.A., how you doing? Shout out to everybody in Louisiana. Shout out to everybody in Hartford, Connecticut, Springfield, Massachusetts. Thank you all so much for being here. And thank you, everybody who's listening online for uh, participating in the show. All right, everybody. Uh, class is dismissed. Bye-bye. See you later. Good night. Program complete. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay. Uh, Trev Hollywood? Yes. Is the best of the bonus hour ready? Good to go. Genuine's on standby. Okay. What else are they going to be laughing to? <laughs> oh, my God. Just some breaks from... Just funny breaks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like me talking in the studio? Yeah. All right. So, so the first half is genuine, then the second half is how the bonus hour normally is. Oh. All right. Well, like... Why you looked at me like that when you said it? <laughs> because I, I mean, I trust you. I haven't even re-listened, you know, all anal that I can be, you know, re-listening and trying to control and stuff, but... I never let you down, right? No, you haven't. I'm leaving it in your capable hands. Hollywood has used up the bonus hour. Artie, are you coming over to Macy's with me? Would you like to come? You know, I was just thinking about that. Oh, sure. But, but I'm not really dressed to promote. Artie, you. you have you're promoting your website. Come on. There you go. ArthurJEvans.com. <laughs> right. Look at his T-shirt. What a cheese ball. What a cheese. All right. So Artie and me will meet you at Macy's Herald Square. Yeah. Fourth floor juniors. It is uh, nine minutes to six o'clock. It is going to take more than nine minutes for a black to catch a cab in New York City at this time. <laughs> so whenever the cab stops is when the hell will be there. Because it's a black thing, and that, that's just that. If I could just walk outside like a white person and hail a cab, then get in. I'll be see you in nine minutes. But most likely, it'll be more like quarter to eight by the time we get a cab. 
And I'm wearing big shoes. So I, even though Macy's is just down the street, I can't walk. Yes. All right. Me and Artie will see you at Macy's. We got to go our rides downstairs. <laughs> I just got this. <laughs> we got to be. Oh, there's a car downstairs that's taking us? Yeah. Oh, okay, we got a ride. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so our ride is downstairs. We'll see you in nine minutes.